ladies and gentlemen. I believe it's time for Rufus to once again be shown his place. To know how much his father loves him, which is in the negative. Let's return to Skyrim. Ladies and gents, how are we all doing today? Hopefully we've had a lovely time. Welcome to the stream from the very start. Lovely to have you all, uh, all with us. I've got some important news, some interesting news, some fascinating news about both Insomnia and the Clip channel, which I've just noticed. Visa, I've seen that the Clip, we're now in Skyrim territory. The Clip channel, Josh Drive says, is now in Skyrim territory. If you're not on the Clip channel, consider looking into it. Josh Drive says on YouTube some of the, the best highlights that Visa can find. I've also started a new channel because I will not stop until I have monopolized every single you know, word that rhymes with haze to make a channel. We've now got Josh Drive Plays and Josh Drive Replays. So Josh Drive Plays is the retro review channel where we do all the old stuff. And Josh Drive Replays, it's these VODs, these Twitch VODs archived so you can watch them in the future. See, that's what I've done for you lovely people. I've managed to get the archived Twitch VODs going on. The Josh Metaverse is expanding. It is. I need to work out how this camera... Hang on. That, 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 no, that's probably good. Oh, it's not good here, though, is it? Look at that bit of green. That bit of green is not... That's not as green as it should be. That's better. Look at me. Look at me being all professional. See? See, I like to pretend... Right, we're off to Windhelm. So, let's just uh, quick save the game, chat to this guy, Thea. I need you, mate, to take me to Windhelm. And you can... Okay, Windhelm is 20 gold, which means the 20 gold carriages are the ones that you can come back from as well. And the 50 gold carriages, they're the ones that you can't come back from. I think that's the way it goes. Doing the Josh Drive place. Oh, can you imagine? This is the first stream I can catch. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you are having a lovely day. Thank you for letting the old VODs onto YouTube. I will always do my best. The air is frigid here. You are carrying too much to be able to run. You are starving. My skeleton may have... You are debilitated. Right, this is not good, is it? You are very cold. Okay. Now, remember. Let me just uh, move my webcam so you can see how bad this is for my magic as well. Remember we're playing on, like, hardcore survival mode. Here. Off to a great start. Look at how much mana I've got left. Just, you have become addled from fatigue. The air is treacherously cold. Just take a look at how much mana I've got left. It's not a lot, really, is it? It's not great. A thousand for those medical bills. Thank you very much, Void. That is remarkably kind of you. We're carrying too much to be able to run. We were not, though. Oh, carry out 168. Is my stamina down or something? So first of all, let's eat a lot of food. Grilled chicken breast, hawk -a loaf, some goat. There we go. Got a lot of food. Oh, we're back. This is good. We are back to be able to run. But we can't run very quickly because we are full up of bones and stuff that we're carrying. So here's what I need to do. I need to make sure that my shout currently... Survival mode. Survival mode kills you. Yes, it does. It's really, really bad. Let me explain what we've got for survival mode. Whirlwind sprint's what I need. We're going to wold our way down there. So the way survival mode works is if you're cold, your health goes down permanently. You see the little red, kind of dark red bars to the side of my main health bar? As I get colder, that goes down and stays down. You see my stamina. Well, in order to increase the, the health back to the top, you've got to get warm. You've got to walk inside, stay somewhere warm. If you don't eat your stamina goes down and stays down. And if you don't sleep, your magic goes down and stays down. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and break into this house just here and just hang around for a bit. You know, just kind of see what's going on. I'm also going to eat some salmon steak and some falna ears and possibly drop the hearth fire book. I don't need a lot of what I'm picking up and carrying. Yeah, I can probably drop this book now I've read it. I'll just read a load of books and then I'll drop them all, because I don't need them. Once you've read them, who, who needs them? Lost Ark stream when? When everyone else has stopped doing it. I'm pretty sure everyone else is covering Lost Ark. You don't need me to cover it right now. You said you wouldn't consult on a new MMO. Would you consult on the revival of Otherland? I would love to revive Otherland. I just don't think it's realistic right now. Oh, hello, person. Are you going to let me uh, into the stables? Am I able to, to pop inside? Let's see what would happen if I just... 
Well, you are out of lockpicks. Well, that's not good. Okay, let's go and try and summon a skeleton. That's the whole point here. That's what we're doing. People play survival mods. Life is miserable enough. Well, it seems that people like watching me be even more miserable. That's what it is. People enjoy watching me be sad. So I decided, hell, you know what? Let's play up to this. Let's be as sad as we can. Let's make our life as unhappy as I possibly can. Let's put the survival mod on. That's what we're doing. It's going to be Path of Exile. Everyone plays for a month and then goes quiet. I think that's exactly what will happen. Thank you very much for all the Prime subs. That is remarkably kind of you. Welcome to the to the stream. Hopefully you're having a lovely time. Oh, stay out the water because the water is super cold. And if we end up being too cold in the water, we will die. Which would not be good. It would be bad. Can I get an Adderboy? I can't afford the 100k channel points. No. No, the, the, the special magical Adderboy is only for the special magical people. Right, let's put all of the bones that we've got into the bone sack. So we're going to go to our own misc, and we are going to put the hip bones. Hang on. No, store. That's the one. Hip bones, left arm, left foot, left hand, left leg, right arm, all the stuff. We're putting it all away. We don't need any of these things. And the skulls. Right, now we should be able to take out one of every bit and get two skeletons. Pixie Lana, welcome to the stream. Hopefully you are having a lovely day. Any plans to play Lost Ark? Look, everyone else is playing Lost Ark. I'll get to it eventually. All right? It's everyone's playing Lost Ark. Everyone's like, oh, what's your opinion? My opinion is it's probably fine. It's probably fine. It'll probably do really well. It'll probably you know, attract a lot of players, and then it'll probably fall into its hardcore. The problem with any new MMORPG releasing is because there are so many MMOs, there is no one definite best. So back in you know, ye olde times of yore, when there was one definite best MMO, everyone would just say, oh, every other game apart from this one is, uh, is dead. So what we need to say this time is all of them are probably alive to different degrees. People will play Lost Art because it's new and shiny. Some people will stay. Some people will move on and play the next game whenever that releases, whatever that is. It will find a hardcore of players. It will maintain that hardcore of players. And then other people who are looking for the perfect MMO will move on whenever a new one comes out. Just as we've seen with every single MMO release ever. A new one will release. People will play it. Some people will like it enough to stay there. Some people will not like it enough to stay there. And then we will have another MMO release. And the whole cycle continues again. What am I drinking? I don't want to advertise them because they're cowards and they haven't sponsored me yet. But I am, in fact, drinking Huel. Because it's nice and I couldn't... I didn't have time for any dinner. So I needed to just really quickly get some calories into me. And I've tweeted at them and I've said, look, guys, come on, sponsor me, you cowards. And they haven't. As soon as they sponsor me, I'll you know I'll be I'll be properly I'll be pushing it everywhere. But until they do, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Brilliant! I have a mod that allows me to raise skeleton mages. So let's go with let's go with raising some skeleton mages, shall we? I think we should. So we're going to want a singular hip bone. Just one is good for me. Just one. Left arm, left foot, just one. Just one of each. One of each should be absolutely fine. I don't think we can raise more than more than these guys yet. We'll go with the rib cage. Right arm, again, just one. I like the idea of having a, a skeleton army. This is my plan. My goodness, Dark Farron, thank you very much for all the gifted subs. That is incredibly kind of you. Hopefully you're having a lovely day and you're going to enjoy... The uh, the stream we're about to have, where we raise a small army. A small army of zombies. Even if just two or three, it's still a decent army for me. Would you ever let yourself get sponsored by a mobile game? Oh, I've made that mistake before. Oh, I back in the day, back when I had, you know, no money and needed, needed quick cash. I've made that mistake. I have bowed down to them and they were like, hey, here's a tiny bit of money. Say our game's good. And now... Now I am able to rely... Skeleton Mage, let's make you. Now I'm able to rely on the Patreon. I'm able to rely on the YouTube and rely on the Twitch and not do that. Because, my God, I had to do that before, right? We've all been there. Right, Skeleton Mage. 
So we have a skeleton mage, and we should have a skeleton warrior as well somewhere. I'm not sure where he is right now, but we should also have a skeleton warrior. Now, if I look at my skills, you'll actually see that my conjuration skill... Look at this cool thing just here. So, dead tide. Maximum number of skeletons increased by one for each 75 points of base magicka. I need to get that. Reap and sow. I can't get that. I need to level up. Because I've got at least one level up point, and I want to get another, get another magic thing going. And let's see if I can have another skeleton. Let's see what I can do. Did you get any advertising offers? Not from Isakai. No, not from Isakai at all. They are trying. You need at least one bone of each to perform ritual. Let's see if we can get one more skeleton going on. So, one of each type of bone, just to keep the rituals going on. You can see now why I'm I'm coming back here and basically putting... Oh, I'm pretty sure I've got one of each bone. Did I Did I not just take one of each bone? So what, what did I miss? Did I miss one of them? Have your chat already asked you about Lost Ark? Have I just got to change... Hang on. Right, no, we need to fix this. We need to fix this right now. Hang on. There's stuff we can do. I know what we can do here. It's okay. Don't you worry. I'm uh, I'm going to sort this out right now. Let's just get a text source. And we will add the text source. And we'll go to a, a new source. That's fine. Okay, let's just add that. And we'll go with... Fantastic. I'm just gonna, just gonna pop that. Just gonna pop that right in the middle. There we go. Just straight in the middle of the stream. That way no one is going. It's too small to see. You know what? I agree. There we go. Beautiful. That's where it goes from now on. Right, so what have I not got on my in my inventory? You caused this. You make it orange. This is not becoming a thing. This is not a bit. Okay, that's just how it's going right now. We're not getting distracted. We're playing Skyrim. It's not about being distracted. Right, do we have... Right, we've got a hip bone. Left arm, left foot, left hand, left leg. Where is the left? So, left, 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 left. Right, 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 right. Skull. That's what we need is skull, don't we? Where's the singular skull? Give me a skull. Thank you very much. Now we should be able... Let's make a skeleton mage again, shall we? Skeleton mage. Is there a reason you have your game on us? You have to turn your head. Yeah. Yeah. It just, just annoys some of you. Thought I'd do it. Okay, so we're going to now go... I need to... First of all, recover my stamina. Goodness me. What I need to do is get back across the water. So, jumping out the water. If we're in the water, we die, pretty much. I need to... Oh, goodness me, don't go in the water. I need to get all the way back up there. And I need to go to... Effectively, a hotel and just chill for a bit. To sleep. Any chance you'd do tibia? Yeah, it's on the list. Believe me, it's on the list. If 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 it exists, it's on the list. Trust me. It's on the list. The text isn't annoying enough. It should be Comic Sans. This is a stream about playing Skyrim seriously. We are not turning this into a Lost Ark stream. Do you have a mod list? I do. I do indeed. It's a good one. Am I on the list? Yes. Yes, you are. Right, would you guys like to... Where is Rufus? Who cares? Can I be bribed to play Lost Ark? Then I can be bribed to do anything. That's the point of being a YouTuber. Why would I have gotten into content creation unless I was going to allow bribes to happen at some point? You pay me enough money, I'll, I'll say whatever you want. That's the great part of this job. The only reason I haven't sold you Raid Shadow Legends yet is because they haven't yet given me a number with enough zeros on the end. Trust me, as soon as they come back with enough zeros, I'm selling it to you. I've told you I'll always be honest with you. Always be honest with you. Soon as they come back with a long enough number. Soon as they come back with a number that looks like a phone number. Then I'll be okay. Then I'll be like, right, let's do it. 
How much to play Lost Ark? I mean, let's be honest. I am a, a super successful YouTuber. But I'm also British, so grilled cheese sandwich, packet of crisps, and a pat on the back. That's all I'd need. That's all I'd need. You know, just honest, just a, a warm can of Coke and uh, a Greg's sausage roll. Pretty much done. Your voice would make... Is this Lost Ark? You know, fuck it, yes. Yeah, it is. This is the super secret first person mode that you unlock if you complete the game really fast. I know, it's good, isn't it? It's good. Okay, so Candle Half Hall, I'm going to guess that's this place just here. I'm really hoping that I can nap here, because I need to. Half of a hamburger, good. You stick some cheese on there, then yeah, you and me will be happy with that. Right, I want to rent a room. It's mine for a day. I've also got to buy some food off her, because my goodness, I am dying. 18 points. It's points of hunger that I need, really. 380 points of hunger, 220 points of hunger, 220. That's what we need. This is good. This is the hunger stuff that we want. The Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. All right, you show me to my room. Thank you very much. Hey there, Mr. Dryface. Hello, Mr. Lord, Lord Mouse. How's the Elder Scrolling? It's good. It's Oh, I forgot that I had a, a skeleton army with me as well. Hey, we're going to be able to level up when we sleep. This is fantastic. In we go. Let's just fall into bed. Asleep before my head hits the pillow like all those Enid Blyton types. Lost Ark graphics are mad. Yes. Yes, they are. Would you like to moist? I should never have said that. There's... There are times in life when you should not say certain things, and I believe that was one of those things that I shouldn't have said. You are the first streamer I know with 0% dead air. Thank you for being awesome. Thank you for noticing that. The average attention span is about 5 to 6 seconds. It's actually dropped down slightly. It used to be 8 seconds, then 7. So if I'm not doing something every 5 seconds, chances are someone will watch an advert, because unless you're subbed to the stream, you have to watch an advert, because Twitch thinks that's fun. And then they'll watch, and I'll be silent for five seconds, and they'll think, this is shit, and they'll click away. That happens. That happens all the time. So what I like to do, adblock gang, where are you at? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, look, I hate ads as much as you guys do. All right, if you want to support the stream, just Patreon and just watch YouTube vids. That, that's it. You don't need to do anything else than that. I'm doing fine. But I, I hate it if, if you... There is actually a subset of streamers, isn't there? If you're here for the gameplay, by the way, you're going to be sorely disappointed. All right, the majority of this stream is just me talking at you. Skyrim is more of a background thing. There are actual streamers out there who chastise their audience for not paying. They'll be sat there going, well, if you're not going to sub, if you're not going to pay, if you're not going to donate, why are you even here? Why are you even here? I know this is going to get clipped out of context and someone's going to comment on the YouTube be like, oh man, what a dick. But there are people like that, genuinely. You know what? How about just... I'm going to do what I do. You like it, sub. You like it and don't want to sub, that's fine too. As long as I'm on your second monitor. Second monitor? <laughs> as long as I am on your second monitor. I'm not going to correct my mistake. I'm going to commit to it. I'll be happy. Okay, guys, do you want to uh, know some good news? Some genuinely good news. All right. I've been in talks with... Oh, no, my conjuration is 59 and it requires 60. Oh, that is just bollocks. Okay, I need one more level. Hang on, reap and sow. 60% more bones, skeletons last longer, skeleton mages. Oh, okay, I need to level one more, one more level. So here's what I'm going to be doing. At Insomnia Fest UK. If you've been to Insomnia before, you know it is a, an absolutely massive gaming event. I am going to, first of all, be there. Then I will be involved in hopefully two of the events. One of them that I can tell you about right now is I will be running a Dungeons & Dragons game at Insomnia Fest. And I'll be running it with Callum Upton. He'll be playing. Rage Darling, she'll be playing. And a YouTuber and streamer called Billy Tricks, she will be playing as well. But you know what they told me? They said, Josh, you're going to be one of the bigger YouTubers there. Why aren't you running a Dungeons & Dragons game? And I'm like, that's amazing. Where do you want me doing this? And they said, you'll be on the second stage. I thought, are you taking the piss? Is, is that 
I can't escape it, can I? I? Literally can't escape it. I swear to God. It's just every time, forever. It's just second stage. I'm just, I'm second monitor content all the time. It's bad, isn't it? It's bad. Getty 99 Runecrafting, congratulations. Welcome back to the real world. Now you've finished your terrible Runecrafting grind. I'm here as a substitute for watching Henry Cavill. If Cavill started streaming, I'm aware that I would lose 90% of my audience, including me. I'd go and watch. I'd go and watch just to gently, quietly seethe in the corner, staring at him. You know how people always say, oh, you know, booby streamers are stealing all my views. The women are stealing all of the views. No, they're not. If an audience member wants to watch someone because they have tits, they're not stealing views off you because you weren't providing tits anyway. The audience watch whatever the audience wants to watch. If you can't look at like a, a female streamer's audience and go, oh, people would be watching me if she wasn't streaming. No, she's providing something that you don't have and that's what the audience want and that's fine. If the audience want what you have, they'll come to you. And where this is all going to is I don't feel that female streamers are stealing anything away from me. But I swear to God, if Henry Cavill started streaming, that I would be concerned about. That I would look and realise, okay, Henry, he's, yeah, he's stealing up. That's, I can't compete with this. That's what I would be worried about. Right, so what I need to do now is I've got two skeleton mages, I've got a small child, and I've got some summonable rats. Let's go and do whatever the hell we're meant to actually be doing. Henry Cavill bathtub stream would literally break Twitch. I'd do it. I'd do it. I'd be involved. I'd, I'd be off camera just pouring water onto him from a big wooden bucket. You know, I'd take it. Do you provide some boobs for the right price? I'm an actor. I'll provide whatever you want for the right price. Right, straight up. You let me know. I love Henry, but he's not as funny as you. You you think that. Henry Cavill's behind me right now telling me everything to say. I'm just a voice piece. You know, all this improvised by him. All I'm doing is just saying the words he's saying. He can't be seen on Twitch because of, you know, contractual obligations, but it's basically his stream. Right, what the frick were we doing? Enter the Labyrinthian. Where the balls is the Labyrinthian? It's by Morthal. Let's go to Morthal, shall we? Let's take this. Where's the thing? There you are, you beautiful bastard. Right, I need you, mate, to take me to Morthal. Let's do it. 50 gold, that means there's no way back. Off we go, ladies and gents. Henry Cavill's playing WoW in the back. He's that good. He really is that good. Looks like full dungeon run for this one. <laughs> is this your real voice? Yeah, no. No, I'm actually a really advanced VTuber. I've told people this before. I'm a super advanced VTuber. The the uh, the model, the modeler that got this rig sorted, super technical. Just so, so many layers to make it work like this. But, you know, pretty impressive that he was able to make it all work and just you know, get it to do something, uh, something decent. Okay, where is the place that high moon Hall, no that's not the place where's the place where we the more side in that's the one that's what i want now because i'm playing on hardcore mode we do need to occasionally pop down and use the inn and buy some food and just generally kind of survive in the world was the model henry cavill yeah it was actually he's a remarkably talented man like there's a couple of things that really would kill my career. If Richard Hammond ever started streaming, I feel I'd lose a large amount of audience. And if Richard Madden ever started streaming, I feel again I would lose a large amount of audience. That's that's my main concern, to be honest. Right, guys, thank you very much for the sub. Welcome to the stream. Basically, you're Henry Cavill VTubing as Josh Trophies. Yes, spot on. What about James May? No, no, I think I could probably out Twitch stream James May. And if any of you see him, you can tell him that. All right, I'm throwing the gauntlet down. Don't get me wrong, I love his, uh, the toys that made us, all those kind of old shows. But I think when it comes to Twitch, I think I could give James May a run for his money. Want to write something funny, but all I can come up with is, is this lost arc? <laughs> oh, oh, you unique person. I want to say thanks for your videos on Guild Wars 2. Ended up being one of my favorite MMOs. Corwin, you are more than welcome. A lot of people message me saying, oh, you just shitting for Guild Wars 2 because they're paying you. I thought, no, I'm shitting for Guild Wars 2 because they're paying me and because I like the game. Like, those two things need to... I had a conversation. Oh, guys, it was brilliant. I, I really annoyed a marketing executive, okay? So I was just going through my everyday YouTuber day. You know, wake up on my yacht, uh, go outside, paraglide for a bit, 
drink all of my breakfast off a supermodel's back, that kind of stuff. You know, the standard YouTuber stuff. And I got a message on Twitter or, or Instagram or some kind of social media. And it was basically a, like, a, hey, Josh, we, we love your channel. We'd love to chat to you about advertising stuff. We're big fans of your channel. And I thought, you have no idea who I am, but I'm, I'm tired of getting all of these completely bollocks adverts. So I'm going to reply. I just replied, yeah, sure. When do you want to chat? And they said, oh, you know, sometime in the next couple of hours. Yeah, I'm free now. You know, I'm always free. I'm my own boss. Free whenever I want. And they were like, yeah, let's let's do that. So I got on a chat with this guy and I was on a Discord call with him. And he's like, so, Josh, are you interested in monetizing your channel? And I said, no, not really. And he was a bit shocked. He's like, well, you just, we, we've got brands that we, we want to work with you. I'm like, oh, do you? Who? They're like, well, you know, wh wh what's your channel about? And I said, mate, you messaged me. You're big fans. You know what my channel's about. Okay? What do you like about me? And the guy gave me this answer. It was brilliant. He said, oh, I love the energy that you stream with. And I love the connection that you have with your audience. And I love the, you know, videos that you make. And you tell it how it is. And I thought, every answer you've just said could apply to literally any streamer. You've given me no specifics whatsoever. You know, you're just making this up. You've been given my channel by someone above you, and you need to convince me to sign up with your marketing agency. But you know nothing about me. So he just gave me this complete generic spiel. And I ended up going, yeah, that sounds great. So, um, you know, what, what brands have you got that would work with me? And he said, well, you know, we, we can reach out to really big brands on your behalf. We can reach out to massive brands. You know, how would you reach out to brands? And I said, well, I'd probably just tweet at them. You know, tweet at whoever. Hey, you want to want an advert? I'll probably just message them. I'll probably get a YouTube comment. I'll probably know someone that works for the company. And they said, oh, yeah, but you can't just get, you know, you can't get brands by tweeting. You know, who have you got by tweeting? And I thought, RuneScape? Guild Wars 2? Nord? Honey? They're pretty big. You know, that's all right. And they're like, yeah, well, we can we can contact Logitech. And I thought, why? I mean, I use a Logitech keyboard, but I, I'm pretty sure it cost me 10 quid at Argos. Okay? I'm not going to start advertising your rainbow keyboards. This is my rule. I will advertise something at you if I use it. If I use it and I can actually vouch that it's decent, I'll advertise it at you. Because that's not me lying to you. That's me being genuine. So when someone come, comes and says, oh, should you play, should you use a Logitech keyboard? I'm like, yeah, just get like a, a cheap shit one from Argos. Or whatever the American equivalent would be. Walmart, I don't know. Oh, but you know what? What speakers do you use? Generic random ones made of Chineseium that I picked up from like a car boot sale three years ago that still work. People always look and go, oh, aren't you professional? I've not even balanced the frickin' green screen. How much thought do you really think I'm putting into this? And then he was like, well, you know, you're, you're the first person I spoke to that doesn't like money. And I thought, mate, I frickin' love money. I just like getting it the right way. That's the difference. All right? I love money. Someone wants to throw money at me. Not a problem. But I want to look at the money and go, I earn that. I don't want to look at it and go, ha oh, I lied for that. All right? That's why I'm not selling you NFTs. All right, what are we buying from this lady? Back to the game. Back. To the, if I ever sell you NFTs, by the way, just walk up to me and slap me. Just whoever's close to me, just I'll understand. If I'm walking down the road holding my huge JPEG of a monkey above me, because you've got to, just walk up, just hit me. All right, it's fine. If I ever have a hexagon profile picture on Twitter, just just send me some hate. I'm fine with that. It'll knock me back and I'll go, yeah, yeah, I deserve that. I understand that. Uh, if you tried to sell me NFTs, I would buy it. You know what? Someone would, which is exactly why I'm not doing it. You made the green screen worse. I pointed at it. I just pointed at the green screen and it got worse. What a shit superpower. Well, I didn't make the Avengers, did I? I really didn't. Can you imagine that? Oh no, there's a huge thing destroying the city. What can you do? I can change chroma key very slightly by pointing at things. How does that help? It really doesn't. 
It, not even break tech, just literally, just change the RGB variable very slightly. That's all I can do. That's <laughs> Cavill's moustache. I would have been on set, I would have helped that out. Just point at Henry Cavill and just add or... I don't know how the conversation has quite got to this exact sentence, but I'm going to say it. I would love to have the ability to add or remove a moustache from Henry Cavill at will. That's what I'd like. That would be my superpower. There are very few situations where you could use that, but I, I that's too much power. It's too powerful. He's just quick. Send. This is an Avengers level threat. That's what it is. Like, maybe if I trained really hard, I could add or remove moustaches from various levels of superhero. That's what it would be. Oh, my goodness. I still can't understand how some tech companies don't understand the scam. Oh, they understand it. Fine. They totally get it. They just like money. That's what they like. They completely understand it. But they... Why is no, I'm not playing Lost Ark on the screen? Um, look at the message literally right above you. That's exactly why it's on the screen. Is this the Krusty Krab meme? Yes, yes it is. Am I going to play... Oh god, I shouldn't have put it on the screen, should I? I'm going to make it bigger. Right, I need to... I didn't want to rent the room again, but I think I should. I think the room's over here, the one you can rent from here. Add... Nope, that's someone else's bed. I like how my skeletons move a bit strangely. Uh, here we go, cool. Let's have a nap in the bed. You should put on it twice. When will we see Josh-shaped mugs? All right, in all seriousness, legitimately... Damn, 140,000 people watching Asmon only at the minute play Lost Ark. Yeah, there's a thousand people here watching me play Skyrim. I am just under a percent as good as uh, as Asmon Gold. That's true. That's exactly true. What Skyrim build am I playing? Stealth Archer? Nope. Melee Tank Archer, who is also a necromancer with a son. That's what I'm playing. Yeah, don't you think... I'm doing anything. Nothing but the best for you guys. Melee tank archer necromancer. That's what it is. I would believe Asmon Gold would raid you. He probably would. He probably... I would be okay with that. I'd be fine. I mean, the chat would fill up bloody fast, wouldn't it? Can you imagine? Can you imagine the chat just... Come on, mouse. Work with me on this one. My runescape mouse mat isn't helping for some reason. There we go. Let's pop outside. The chat would combust. If he wants to do that, he can do that. I'm not going to hold that against him. He's he's helped my channel a great deal. I cannot I cannot overstate how useful Asmon Gold has been to the growth of my channel. Oh my goodness, should we get involved in that huge reaction debate between Hassan, JXC, Dark Viper AU, oh, everyone. My goodness. So, if you've not heard about this, brilliant bit of YouTube drama. You know what? I love YouTube drama when I'm not involved, like sitting on the outside. Like, it's amazing to watch a house burn down, provided it's not your house. I know that sounds like a horrible thing to say, but everyone is thinking it. That's true. Like, if you walk past, it's like a train wreck, isn't it? You walk past a train wreck, as long as no one you know or love is on that train, you're fascinated. That's what it is. So let me explain the way this is working. Oh, hang on. I'm going to first of all just summon some stuff. I need to level Conjuration one more time. Oh, by the way, whenever I get into a fight in this game, I instantly spawn some skeevers that run out from me, and I've got two skeleton mages, and I summon a, a flame thingy, and I've got a child that attacks me as well. I usually don't donate, but listening to you talking is so entertaining. Thank you. That is... You know what? That's how I want to earn my money. That's what it is. What is my opinion on Primaris Marines? Look, like, right. On top of that green screen shelf is a box full of hover tanks. Just because I was reading the the codex and I thought, oh, Primaris can't ride in land raiders. It's a shame I've got a few land raiders. Primaris can't ride in rhinos. It's a shame I've got a few rhinos. Time to get an impulser. Time to get a repulsor. <gasps> repulsor executioner? They do even more damage. Yeah, I've, I've got my game plan. All right, repulsor executioner straight up the middle. Combat, unload some eradicators into the middle, take out their, their heavy stuff, get the impulsor up, unload a series of blade guards, get them on the objectives. I have got my game plan sorted. I'm a basic bitch when it comes to 40k, all right? I am running ultramarines, and I am, yeah, prime are just bigger meat for the hive fleet. All right, Tyranid player. I'm so amazed. When was the last time you got new models? You can't remember. I mean... 
The reason I decided to play Ultramarines was simply because... Maybe, maybe I crossed the line there, I'm sorry. The reason I decided to play Ultramarines was um, we get like five new models every week. That's what it is. In fact, if you chart the, the plot of new models to Ultramarines, we're eventually, we're actually closing in on some kind of event horizon where we're going to end up getting more than one model every minute. That's what's going to happen. Thank you very much for the cheer. That's remarkably kind of you. Rage Darling, good evening to you. Welcome to the stream. Rage Darling is actually one of the beautiful people that I will be d and with. So if you guys are excited for the... Oh, God, there's a deer. I thought that was a wolf. I'm going to be honest. That was uh, not as scary as I thought it would be. Move, Rufus. Let me shoot the deer in the arse. Okay, there we go. That was not as epic as I thought it would be. I went to eat when the text was put on. I did not expect it to stay this long. It's going to be there the entire time. I, I don't do things by halves. I don't half ass anything. I whole ass one thing. All right? Don't half ass things. Whole ass things. That's the way you do it. Right, that was just a complete... I'm just firing arrows randomly there. The Lost Ark text. I did not know you could have a sun in that game. Is the peel still on your PC? It is. It is. I'm not even lying. If you are new to the stream, I'm about to make you very sad. Okay? I'm going to move the webcam. In case anyone gets motion sickness, just so you know, I'm moving the webcam. Webcam's going to move slightly. So, this is my PC. Okay? This is my PC. I know that it looks like a pride parade threw up in it, but trust me, it runs really fast. This is the little protective peel. Still there. Why? Because it's protected. You take the peel off, the glass is exposed to the elements. The resale value on it goes way down. Why'd you straighten it out? If you watch one of the old clips on the old clip channel, I actually peel it down, put a perfect thumbprint on the glass, not the peel, the glass, and then put the peel back on top. See? There we go. Just so there's an actual thumbprint perfectly. Are the fingerprints from last time still there? Yeah, they are. I've not cleaned the glass. You're going to get cancelled. This is the worst thing I could possibly do to PC gamers. Like, there's... When you look at it, you look at the... <laughs> look at the hierarchy of bad things to do as a PC gamer. Like, it's... Irritating the EVE players is the second worst thing you could do. Irritating the PC Master Race subreddit... That's the top. Hide, Josh. We can't protect you. <laughs> is that what's happening right now? Oh, man. I mean, I still use Gaiazzo for screenshots. I'm still running Windows Me. There was nothing wrong with Windows Me. Now, Windows Me was fine. I'm not still running Windows Me, but I would do. You are my favorite toilet content creator. Thank you. Your clips are perfect to watch while taking a dump. Okay, I resent that. They are also perfect to watch while having a shower. Okay, just do what everyone else does. Put your phone on really loud play. Put your phone in the corner of the bathroom. Angle. Let me give you some advice. Angle the speaker on your phone toward the corner of your room and it acts like an acoustic echo device which makes your phone louder. So when you're listening to music in the shower, it sounds louder. See? You come to this stream for two reasons. To hear my opinion on Henry Cavill's moustache and acoustic advice. That's it. Anything else you get, purely luck. I guarantee that's literally all you come for. What is my phone going off? What, what do people want? Oh, God, there's a clip of me already. Fantastic. And, oh, interesting. I, uh, I PM'd I PM'd some of the RuneScape people and I'm like, hey, you guys going to be at Insomnia? No one's going to be an insomnia. How dare they? How lit... Okay, cool. The RuneScape team are going to Comic-Con. I will be there for them. That's fine. They're cool. The RuneScape guys are cool. I'm just here for the memes. There's no memes. I can't believe your collar is straight. God damn. I know what you're trying to do. I know you're trying to bait me into, you know, moving my collar. But you are a novice baiter. Whereas I am a... And I'm not going to say it, but your mind is going to go there. This is how much power I've got over you. I know what you're thinking before you think it. Stop. Don't... I didn't do anything. Don't you tell me to stop. All of you are there going, <laughs> you won't know what's going to happen. Yeah, I do. I love the black undershirt. Thank you. Thank you. It's from Primark. Brilliant. Yes, brilliant beta. That's what it is. 
If someone says, don't think about pink elephants, I wasn't thinking about pink elephants anyway. You know what I was thinking about? Grey elephants. That's what colour they are. Grow up, Josh. Soda, you can't tell me what to do. You're not my real dad. Although my dad does watch the stream. He could probably tell me what to do. That would be fine. Am I from Germany? No. No, I'm not. I've never been to Germany. Well, I went to Austria, but that's not Germany, is it? Like, you can't just go to a place that's near a place and say that you've been to the place. I mean, Austria and Germany, do they share a border? They do share a border. I mean, I've been to Lidl. A lot. How many times do you need to go to Lidl before you can effectively just say that you've been to Germany? How, how, yeah, they share a border, don't they? Austria and Germany, not Lidl and Germany. That's not how the borders work there. 23 times. Just a bit, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, that's amazing. Oh, man, I, um, every Christmas we have dinner with a couple of interesting people. One of the, oh, ghosts. All right, I'm, I'm not really paying too much attention to the plot that's going on. I just want to get the magic staff, to be fair. And I remember talking to a really bigoted guy about Lidl, and he, he hated Lidl so much. He just really hated it. Um, did you just insult my favourite MMO? I don't know, probably. It's If I haven't, it's on the list. To insult. Plot sucks, anyway, don't bother. Lidl's great. Lidl's freaking great. I mean, what's your favourite MMO? You give me your favourite MMO, I'll come up with a unique insult for you. I'll try my absolute best to make you feel... Is there no in-game sound? I've probably just got it turned really low. Hang on, I'll just put it up slightly higher for you. Uh, Lineage 2. I've not played it yet, sorry. Flife, Final Fantasy XIV, Wizard 101. Just see a lot. Dofus, all of these things there. Right, I'm going to be real. Dofus is probably the game that I have had people recommend the most. Every, well, at least one person a day will PM me. Hey, Josh, I'm not sure if you know, but have you heard of Dofus? Yes, it's on the list. Every time someone mentions a game on the list, I move it down the list. That's how I do it. That's the best way. How dare you not like Lost Ark? EverQuest. I've played EverQuest, actually. I played it on a time-locked progression server. I had fun. Right, Spell Tome. Can pull an object to you from a distance. We now know Telekinesis. One of my favourite spells, Telekinesis. How many of you are slightly annoyed that I'm not pronouncing it Telekinesis? I'm just waiting. I want to see one person. It will annoy one person. Those ghosts are probably giving us some really important, you know, behind-the-scenes backstory kind of stuff. Oh, God, it's almost as bad as Illuminium. Look, it's Illuminium. Let's just combine the American and the British together and just go with both of it. It's not aluminium. It's not aluminium. It's aluminium. There we go. Sweet. Mind bullets. Recently discovered your channel through your worst MMO ever series. Can't stop laughing as a game dev. I'm afraid that one day you will trash my game. I mean, if your game is shit, then yeah. That's as honest as I can be. People message me going, will you play my game? I'm like, you don't want that. You, you don't want that. All right. If I'm playing your game, your game is bad. Unless your game is Guild Wars 1 and, or Warframe, in which case they're really frickin' good. Is, uh, is Baldur's Gate 3 bad? I haven't played it. You are a bully. I mean, yeah, but I'm bullying corporations, so it's fine. Like, that, that's okay. As long as we keep bullying massive, faceless corporations, totally fine. You never... This is an important point. You never bully people. I will never call people out by name. I never specifically say that any group of players is wrong for enjoying a game. I will never say... Oh, hang on. Can I... Oh, can I train stealth by just being here? Hang on. Like, there's enemies over there. I want to check something. Like, if I can... I want to find somewhere where I can train stealth just by being here. All right, sneak. 18, but it's under the A. Let's see where all the enemies are. They're, oh. Oh, 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 that's a lot of enemies. Just under the A. Is it still sneaking? Yeah, no, that isn't working. That's You need to move. That's a shame. That is a shame. So we'll wait for the enemies to come to us. That's fine. Oh, you got, you guys okay? You guys good? Yeah, you guys are fine. Right, in, in all seriousness, about reviewing stuff. I will never ever say specific devs are bad people or players of games are bad people. Keep it about the product. Don't make it personal. Don't attack communities. Never 
say that anyone is wrong for enjoying a game, because they're not. Jinx, thank you very much for the subs. That's remarkably kind of you. Never say that anyone is wrong for having fun. As long as they are enjoying the game, that's absolutely fine. The game can be objectively bad. It can be subjectively bad. But I will never attack the players. That's the important bit. So when people go, oh, you know, you're bullying devs, I've never actually said that devs are, are in any way wrong for what they're doing. What about Dreamworld players? Dreamworld doesn't have players. Now, let's, let's not be silly. Now, let's, <laughs> let's not say that a game, <laughs> a dead game has players, shall we? Can you name your skeletons Crunchy? I will name him Crunchy, and I will name the other Tim. Okay, let's uh, open this lever and see what happens. Activate the lever. Oh, okay. R Rufus, hang on, mate. I've got an idea. Oh, oh, it goes down, does it? Right. Rufus, mate, I'm going to need you to... Hang on. Let's just... Go, Rufus! It's okay, we can get a bit closer to the gate every time, it's fine. As long as he stays there, we'll get a little bit closer every time. All we've got to do is trap him in the room and let him do his thing. I thought Rufus was using a baguette as a sword. He may as well be. I mean, to be fair, if it was a baguette, he'd probably eat it. Look at him. Gee, Rufus! I hate you so much. Okay, let's get ready to run in and do some stuff. Stop abusing your son. He's my son. And I'm allowed to. He's immortal. It's not child abuse if he can't die. Okay, here we go. You guys ready? Open in stuff. But oh good oh god, there's a dragon. Okay. Oh god, there's a lot of things. Okay, let's run this way. Thankfully yes, the dragon is attacking Rufus. This is exactly what I wanted to happen. I, however, am getting into a real thing with this skeleton archer. Oh, that was crap. I'm going to run over here. Let the I'm going to let the dragon kill my son. My son is a good tank. Well, he can't die, so he's the best tank. My, I'll tell you what. My um, is that my skeleton archer or their skeleton archer? I'm not sure. Yep, archer is increased. He's definitely not mine because I, I'm not using warriors. Come on, let's take these skeletons out. One more. Thankfully, Rufus really does pull a hell of a lot of aggro. That's true. You're down. Oh, guys, can we just appreciate my amazing archery skills right now? Oh, cool. The skeleton dragon's actually trying to grab aggro onto my minions that are outside. That's fantastic. Sup, Mr. Skeleton. Down you go. All right, skeleton dragon. Let's just watch him take on Rufus. Rufus! Oh no, he's just... Oh, Rufus, father needs you. Come on, son, show your love. Uh, that's it, son, go for it. Rufus is just the absolute epitome of, you know, if at first you don't succeed, try, try, and try again. Oh, Rufus, oh no. Don't worry, Rufus, father's here. I'll take out the side skeleton. Oh, goodness me. I'll take out the side skeletons. It's totally okay. What I will do is summon... Oh, that's not good! Uh, let's just grab myself some potions. Let's never give up. Never don't not give up. That's what I try and tell people. Never don't not give up. Right, so I might need to just hang back here for a second and maybe use a little bit of healing. There we go. Lovely stuff. Alec, thank you very much for the Prime sub. Is this Lost Ark? Yes. Yes, it is. Don't question that. Uh, we're going to go with Conjure Flame Atronach. Can I use both hands to conjure a really powerful one? I might be able to. Off we go, Flame Atronach. Do some damage. Do some da- Oh, my goodness me, what was that? Do some damage. Rufus is kicking this guy's ass. Sit down, dragon. Did you get a dragon sword from an undead dragon? I don't remember. Lost Ark looks like- Rufus, did you just push the dragon into the middle? Is that what just happened? Is he not dead? Does the dragon not die? Uh, oh, goodness me. Oh, God. Okay, the dragon apparently does not die. But it's okay. We've got Rufus. Uh, do we need to do something to kill it? Possibly. Oh, this might be like a puzzle thing. Pet the dragon. 
Let's see what we've got. Let's. Uh, there's a oh, search skeleton, left arm, left leg, rib cage. That's good. We'll take bits. We'll make more skeletons later. I do need to find a way to repeatedly conjure stuff. I'm casting the conjure spell repeatedly because it gives me more experience in combat. And Rufus is pretty much tanking the dragon. It's fine. Not playing Lost Ark. Why do I hate Lost Ark so much? I just do. Like, I've got no experience of it. I haven't played it, but I've got opinions. And as a professional YouTuber, one of my greatest skills is having in-depth knowledge of something even though I've never experienced it or played it or researched it. That's one of the great things I can do as a critic. Is it Jeanette? Immortal Dragon versus Immortal Sun. This is what he wants. I do enjoy... What were we talking We were talking about... We were talking about the reaction meta. The oh, Reed etched tablet. Hail all, forever these walls shall stand. May enemies see her majesty, may all quake to behold her. I mean, that didn't work very well, did it? It's clearly you've, you've not done great. Come on, Rufus, there's some ghosts. Ignore them. We were talking about reaction content. Reaction content, I believe, is both positive and negative, depending on how well it's done. If a YouTuber spends a long time writing a video and creating a piece of media, a piece of artwork, fantastic. That's a difficult thing to do. If someone else wants to react to that, what they need to do is they need to... They need to provide value to the audience. That's what it is. Value to the audience. And they need to continue the conversation on. They need to take the media the person has created and not necessarily react to it, but expand upon it. That's what they need to do, to expand. So if someone wants to react to one of my videos, as long as they are giving the audience something valuable, as long as they're expanding on what I'm saying or they're engaging with it, that's fine. Because that's a conversation. That's a con that's, that's critique. That's conversation. That's fair use in my book. If someone wants to just watch my content and then not do anything and then say at the end, yeah, that was good, then th that's just bad. That's... If you are using React content as a way to cover up the fact that you either can't or can't be bothered to create your own stuff, that's when it gets lazy. If you're a content creator who's fully capable of creating their own stuff and you have chosen to react to something because you believe you have something valuable to add to the conversation and you want to try and give as much credit as you can to the original creator, that's absolutely fine. In my book, again, that's just my opinion. You might think differently. Asmon Gold always links the videos in the description. He always links the videos in his Twitch chat. He always has the name of the content creator on stream. He gives his opinions with examples from his vast knowledge of MMORPG history. He entertains. He manages to say what he agrees with and what he disagrees with, and importantly, why. That's what I like about what Asmon Gold does. I believe his work is transformative and entertaining. And people always say, oh, he just reacts. Have you gone back and watched how much stuff he's made over the years? The guy can make videos. The guy can make videos exceptionally well. He's made hundreds of videos, loads of guides. He can definitely do it. That's what I like about him. That's what I think is, uh, is fair about the stuff that he does. Hassan, I'm not particularly keen on because I believe he takes the piss. He really takes the piss. And what I also love about, I mean, JXC made a fantastic video. JXC, one of the few YouTubers that will have me in floods of tears every time. Death, thank you very much for the cheer. That's remarkably kind of you. I love JXC and the content that they create. I think they're fantastic. One of the funniest YouTubers I've ever seen. And what I disliked about Hassan was they were playing JXC's video and they walked off. They just walked off in the middle of, you know, their day to go and cook some food. And when someone said, hey, Hassan, why are you walking off? Hassan replied with, yeah, well, I mean, if you're reacting for 10 hours a day, there's going to be some dead screen time, there's some dead air time, isn't there? And I'm like, yeah, but that's not an excuse for just putting someone else's content on. If you're reacting for 10 hours worth of stuff, this might sound really dumb, but I expect you to do 10 hours worth of work if you want to be paid for 10 hours worth of stuff. If you're going to do four or five hours worth of work, don't stretch it out over 10 hours. Someone said earlier they like the fact that there's no dead air on these streams. Do you want to know why I don't stream for 10 hours? I wouldn't be able to. 
the intensity of the streams that we do, the chats, the fact there's no dead air, the speed, the way we jump around from conversation to conversation. I can keep this up for about four or five hours. And when I click end stream, I am shattered. I don't talk for the next day. I'm done. I've got to go downstairs. I've got to have a cup of tea. I hit the bed. I just fall asleep straight away. I am done. I stream for as long as I possibly can, as entertaining as I can. And I don't like the idea of diluting it. I don't want to dilute it to 10 hours. If someone says, oh, you know, I've, I'm doing it for 10 hours. There's going to be some dead time. Don't do it for 10 hours then. Because what you've actually shown is that you can't. You can't do it for 10 hours without taking the stuff that someone else has made and using that to fill it up. Hey, conjuration has increased to 60. Fantastic. Go, my minions. Where are you? In you go. In you go, son. Go, go for it. There we go. The Draugr is working. A 10-hour tangent tavern stream would be pretty good. Oh, that'd be hard, man. Is Arcanum. I believe it is. Hassan is the worst ideals and understanding about work, ethics, and politics. What I love is the fact that Hassan is massively into socialism and then goes out and buys a hundred thousands, you know, dollars worth of car or house. I've got nothing against people having a hundred grand car. You want to have that? Sweet, go for it. If you've managed to get that money somehow legitimately, well done you. My main issue is don't preach one set of morals and then have another. I'm not going to sit in front of you and say, oh, I'm going to, you know, 100% push the benefits of socialism. No, I'm actually, I, I, I tend to leave my politics out of the streams, but I'm kind of okay with people having capital if that's what they want to do. If you want to start a business and work for it, that's absolutely fine. Don't preach one thing and do another. If you want to do something, totally fine. Have the conviction to preach the same thing. I would love to have a, uh, ooh, Dell is there going, bad take, bad take. Do you, do you not appreciate the fact that I'm not lying to you? What would you prefer, Dell? Would you prefer if I told you what you wanted to hear and then I went to do the thing that benefited me? Is that what you'd prefer? Would you prefer if I said one thing and did another? Or would you prefer if I told you what I was doing? Because I can say it's not anti-establishment enough. That's what it is, isn't it? That, it's not that. Would you like me to sit here and tell you things that make you feel good about yourself and then go and do things that benefit me? Or would you like me to tell you that I'm going to do the things that benefit me? I'm sorry, but it's. I'm going to be honest with you, man. I'm going to be really honest with you. I'm going to tell you honest things, even if it makes it where you don't like me. That sounds stupid, but I'm not going to say to everyone, yeah, I'm 100% I'm on the side of socialism, and then go and buy a £100,000 car and say, oh, yeah, but that's fine. That's for me. That's okay. It's about democracy in the workplace. It doesn't matter how much money you have. Oh, I mean, I'm going to be honest. I don't know enough about it to get into it. So... I'm not a massive fan of the way that Hassan handles the amount of content, the amount of time he tries to fill. He tries to fill a 10 hour stream, but he does it through using the work of others without providing a great deal of value to the work he is using. If he was doing a 10 hour stream of actual reaction, actual analysis, actual depth, that kind of stuff, spot on. I'll be fine with that. I mean, if someone wants to take 10 hours worth of my content and really dig into it, really make it super deep, I'd be super impressed with that. If someone wants to just bang 10 hours worth of my content on in the background while they attempt to do, you know, something, eh, that'd be, that'd be a bit boring, wouldn't it? That would be a little bit boring. I absolutely do not mind. I'm new here, thanks to the great entertainment. You are more than welcome. Love your YouTube content. Oh, thank you. I do try. As a very left-wing person, Hassan has always left a bad taste in my mouth. Oh, thank you very much for the sub. That's remarkably kind of you. Buying a car isn't in conflict with socialism. No, but buying a £200,000 car it seems excessive. You know, if I had 200 k to spare... I'd probably get a really good Warhammer army. That's it. I'd still spend it. Just not on a car. But that's that, That's where that sentence went. 
I like how people there going, oh, he'd do something really good with it. No, no, I'd, I'd just foil out a Magic the Gathering Legacy deck. There we go. That's what we would do. Uh, just spent on like five custodies. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I would, I would pay for a battle with Henry Cavill. That's what I would do. Josh, if you had a podcast, I would listen to it. <laughs> you, you're not going to believe this. Mondays, The Tangent Tavern. It's a podcast with myself and YouTuber Callum Upton. All right. Guarantee. In fact, if you search Tangent Tavern on YouTube, you'll find the old episodes straight up. I've actually got several uh, several things now. You guys should be impressed by this. Josh Strife Hayes YouTube channel all about MMORPGs. Josh Strife Plays YouTube channel all about reviewing old games. I've actually been editing a video for that today, and that is going to be Rayman, where I've replayed Rayman for the PS1. Josh Strife says that is the clip channel run by Visa. That is basically the the best of the stuff that we have on on Twitch. You get to watch some of the best hits, and now Josh Strife replays, which is all of the Twitch VODs uploaded in case you missed them. There we go. Four channels. Hayes, Says, Plays, Replays. The Replays one was because people were asking me to upload the Twitch VODs, and I thought, you know what, you are right. There we go. Can't wait for the stream to be over so I can dig into the podcast. There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff. Review about uh, girls, Josh Drive Bays. This is the Josh Metaverse. I am starting the Metaverse. NFTs and crypto is just around the corner, guys. I guarantee it. It's going to be different NFTs of mugs. That's what it's going to be. Can you imagine? Can you, ima can you actually imagine? It would be terrible if I ended up doing that. I'm never, never going to do that. Don't, don't you worry. It's not going to happen. Oh, so that dude just attacked me, and I don't like this. I'm just going to hang on. Where There you are, my flame atronach. Do something. Get involved. Every day you dream, yes. Maze about projects and aspirations of what I might do. Naze, that's when I, um, it's horse care. That's horsemanship. Gonna explain that all to you. Let's just keep attacking this Draugr White. The reason I'm using summoned bows is because I can't be bothered to buy arrows, pretty much. Oh, goodness me, they actually know, uh, I didn't realize the Draugr White's new magic. Come on, Draugr White, what are you doing? I'm gonna. I'm going to summon a flame atronach right in front of your face. That's what I'm going to do. Boom, son. Deal with the flame atronach. There we go. Okay, cool. Can deal with the flame atronach. What about my poetry, my pottery review channel? I will not stop until I have created a YouTube channel with every single possible variation that rhymes with haze. That's what I'm going to do. Do I have any mods installed? Yes, Rufus, my idiot son. Not sure where he is, but he is an idiot. Okay, so we're picking up the Draugr White. I don't need you. Have I got... Did one of my minions die? Oh, that'd be a shame if they died. Was that... Oh, they're my... Uh, this is huge! Oh, there he is, down there. There's my... My idiot son is taking on a Draugr by himself because he's an idiot. That's what he's doing. The only mod that matters. The idiot child mod. Let's just fire some arrows down at this Draugr White and see if I can just gently pick him off from above. I know this is the Skyrim content that you all want. This is the ex oh archery increased, sweet. This is exactly what you will want. I know that. Josh Strife bathes. That's the hot tub meta. That's the hot tub stream. If you had to dodge taxes like you're trying to hit iframes to afford car and then call yourself a socialist, yeah, that's true. Otherwise, buying the car isn't hypocritical. Smaug, you're you're really going all out defending someone here. Isn't a isn't the point of socialism each according to has a, his ability to each according to his needs? Wasn't that the point of it? Each from their ability to each to their needs. Does does someone need a a two hundred thousand pound car? Is that car? It's communism, right? I see. Gotcha. You have got to correct them on me because often these times overlap. If people are going to be really shocked in the. Uh, if people are going to be super, super shocked in the chat that I am not 100% up to date with all of the political spectrum, I guarantee that you're going to be shocked a lot. Because a lot of the time that I would have spent learning about politics, instead, I spent memorizing San Andreas cheat codes. That's what I did. Okay? 
people will look and go, yes, what do you think about this specifically? And I'll be there going L1, L1, R1, R2, up, down, left, right, up, down, left, right, triangle, square, circle. There's a jet. That's what I'll do. It was time well spent. Labour owns means of production. Companies are run democratically. You know what, guys? And this is something I, I truly believe in. I believe the absolute best place to have an extremely nuanced and in-depth political conversation about various leans of both directions is on Twitch. That's the best place to have it. Because never before has a political conversation gone wrong online. Everyone is respectful. Everyone lets the other say their piece. Everyone is here in good faith. Everyone believes that by coming together, we can definitely achieve the right thing. And if someone else says something you don't agree with, well, you'll respect that and you'll let them say it. You won't just jump down with incredible, immediate hyperbole. I actually 100% believe the greatest place to have a debate is online where only one person is actually talking and hundreds of people are typing at the same time. There is nothing that's going to sort more problems out than this. There is a place for political debate. Online, ain't it? Because when it comes to online discussions, people are more bothered about winning and then I die. And then I die. That's what, hap that's what happens when you discuss politics online. That's it, right there. That was the political moment. Right now, in all seriousness, there is a place, without a doubt, for online debate and discussion and political debate and discussion. Uh, this ain't it. Because people often forget what the point of discussions is. It's to find the right answer. It's to find the truth. And only when people enter into a discussion or a debate with the genuine belief that they might not know the truth already and are willing to learn and listen and to change, will we find anything that works. And what a lot of people like to do is they take the time to attack the other person. They believe that you win an argument by attacking the other person and not necessarily attacking the argument. So earlier, when I gave the definition of communism instead of socialism, you get a load of people that are like, oh my god, I can't believe you said that. That was stupid. That was wrong. That was dumb. You are wrong because of that. Okay, cool. I was wrong on that. Thank you for pointing that out. And I can take that away and I can know that now and I can get better. If people are going to hold on to that and use that as ammunition in the future, we're not really here to debate, are we? We're here to attack, which is silly. We really need to be working together to achieve the best outcome for everyone. A lot of people forget about... Let's see if I can... Yeah, there we go. That's better. I can attack my own thing. A lot of people forget that discussions and debates aren't about winning. They're about improving the world in general. Is your middle name really strife? Not yet, but I would like it to be. I do think it would be one day. I, OK, there's a lot of enemies over there. It would be cool if it was. I'd vote for Rufus. I noticed when you did Was It Good, Jade Cocoon 2, but not Jade Cocoon 1. I never played Jade Cocoon 1. Am I going to play Lost Ark or not? Is this Lost Ark? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Any plans Josh Strife plays Dark Souls? I already have played Dark Souls 1. I love Dark Souls 1. In fact, one of the games next to me is the Dark Souls 1 Special Edition with the art book. First time on the stream and it's a talk about socialism. No, it's not. It's a talk about how it's dumb to discuss politics online. Because a lot of people don't have their opinions. They have their opinions about what other people have told they have their opinions on. Very few people have actually done enough research to really know what they're on about with that kind of stuff. I definitely don't. If someone wants to sit me down and go, Josh, I want to have a serious political debate. I'm like, mate, the, the most serious political debate you're going to get out of me was that I would vote for the emperor. That's, I would vote Henry Cavill to be our benevolent overlord. That's what I'd do. I'd put Stephen Fry in charge of everything. There we go. Straight up. And people are like, no, but what do you actually believe? I'm like, I believe that I don't know enough for my opinion to be valuable. That's what I believe. I absolutely 100% believe that my opinion on anything political is basically irrelevant. Because I don't know. One of the signs of intelligence is knowing 
when you don't know stuff. And that's absolutely fine. I don't know a lot of stuff. And I'm totally okay no, just saying that. Eastern Dwemer Sword. Interesting. That's kind of cool. I think that one of the, the signs of insecurity is when someone is afraid of saying, I don't know. There's nothing wrong with saying, I don't know. It's very valuable to have the confidence to be able to say, I don't know. We need to be able to do that. More people need to be able to do that. So when it comes to all of this, you know, complicated political stuff, I don't know. We were talking about reaction content, the reaction meta, the idea that you can just react to other YouTubers' videos and that's fine, when I would say the reality is if your reaction is adding something of value, that's totally okay. Hope you're having a nice evening. I am indeed. Thank you very much for asking. You're not playing Lost Ark? Is that the whole of Bell? No, I'm not playing Lost Ark because everyone else is playing Lost Ark. I'm pretty sure you guys got the Lost Ark stuff covered. You don't need me to cover it as well. You know, that's, that, that's pretty much been sorted. Lost Ark is all good for that. I'm not a very political guy. I don't know enough about politics. That's true. But if you're insulting someone, it tells me you're not worth talking to. That's true. That's very true. Hello, everyone watching on my only monitor. You, like, have 100% of my attention right now. You know what, Quackinator? I hope, my, my belief, my hope for you is that one day you will have a second monitor and I will be on it. Oh, okay. So... Interesting. I've just heard some some guttural voicing in the voicing. How, how good at words am I? Guttural voicing in the background of something talking to me. Let's just summon a thing. I need to sleep, by the way, because I I basically have Rufus. Get in there, mate. Get in there. What if I place you in between two monitors? That would be acceptable. I'd be OK with that. I think that is a, a worthwhile place to be. You accepted your fate as second monitor content. Yeah, you can't choose what you become famous for, can you? You can just do the best with what you've got. With what you have got. Does Rufus have measles? Rufus has everything apart from a loving set of parents, to be honest. He's, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. I'm going to jump and grab that soul gem. There we go. What's down here? Oh, same thing. Same thing as ever. Find the Staff of Magus all the way down this way and then left, possibly. Let this... Aha! Oh, goodness me. Okay, that was uh, interesting. Just drained a lot of my mana. Let's just quick save before we go in. Does he have a girlfriend? He doesn't have a single friend. In we go. The Labyrinthian! I literally play your videos in the background while playing on my first... Good, that's what you should do. That's what they're designed for. You just hurt Rufus's feelings. I mean... I don't care. Is Rufus not your friend? No, he's my son. I don't love him. I don't care about him. He's just there. Was it bad voice acting? If so, it was a... Oh, God. Is the Lost Ark voice acting that bad? I haven't had a chance to listen to it yet, so you'll have to tell me if... Oh, goodness me. Draugers, quick. Go, Rufus. Rufus, don't push me into the fight, mate. You, you go. Go, Rufus. He's fine. He's okay. He's got him, don't worry. He's there. Don't you find it funny when people beg for your opinion then get annoyed when it's not the same as theirs? Literally all the time. I love how when people go, ooh, that's a bad take. I'm like, no, it's it's a take. If we start dividing takes into good and bad, we are thought policing. If we start saying your opinion is bad, just straight away within these you know binary yes no strings we end up with an in group and an out group of basically everything when what we need to do instead is have a nuanced conversation that accepts the positives and berates the negatives of any specific thing and if everything is entirely negative then we can sit back and say this is probably a bad idea your opinion is wrong don't worry about rufus he's fine I can disagree with you without invalidating what you're saying. Absolutely correct. I mean, this is what the whole meta reaction thing is. There are massive benefits to reaction content, to streamers, to people that want to benefit from it. It's there. But equally, there is detrimental stuff that needs to be addressed. It is taking away from people. You can look at the, the lost income from it. I am out of lockpicks, and I need to go through 
this gate. That's irritating. Right, can I go around this way instead? But yeah, there's, there's positives and negatives to both of it. How is my caretaker? She's probably downstairs making a cup of tea. Oh, can we can we go this way? That that graphic looks un Oh, that is unfinished. That's weird. That was a skeleton that got knocked this way. Let's pop down this way. Malachite ore. Sweet. Oh, that's is that a trap? It's not a trap. We're okay. I don't know where else we're meant to be going. Rufus, could you just shut up for a second? You're very annoying. Ah, uh, aha! Okay, cool. I think I know where we're going now. Uh, can Rufus read and write? I hope not. Otherwise, he's going to read all those horrible things I've written about him in my diary. So let's just hope not. Skyrim is ten years old. It is, isn't it? Skyrim is an old game. When someone says to you, hey, think about what uh, video games looked like ten years ago. Skyrim. You guys want to feel sad? What Final Fantasy came out twenty years ago? 20 years ago, which Final Fantasy were we all playing? People often say, I don't know, Final Fantasy 7, Final Fantasy 8, Final Fantasy 10. Final Fantasy 10 is 20 years old. I know. I know. When someone's when I realized that, man, I I did not feel good. You know, on PlayStation 2, 20 years old, man. Not a good time. Not uh, not a fun discovery. Nobody wants that. Isn't Shrek more than 20 years old? How old is Shrek? Someone Google it. It's going to be like... Oh, Nordic Spear. I don't need that. It's going to be one of those scary things, isn't it? Eternal. Shrek. Shrek has always been around, hasn't he? I still firmly subscribe to the belief that the world ended in 2012 and everything we're doing now is just a badly written fan fiction. You know how they always say, oh, yes, the Mayan calendar ends at 2012. Maybe the Mayans just didn't want to plan anymore. Like, a couple of thousand years is probably enough for a calendar. But I love that that was our number one reason the world was going to end. The Mayan civilization stopped their calendar. But maybe they were done. Maybe they looked at it and thought, this is enough. You know, I mean, most calendars go for a year. There you go. Most calendars do a year, maybe the next six months of the next year. That's what it was. As if before 2012 it wasn't just a clown fiesta. No, right. Before 2012 the world was perfect. Politicians were honest. Prices were reasonable. TV shows were all unique and great. It's Baz Luhrmann's Everybody's Free to Wear Sunscreen. Everything in the past was great. Everything in the future is shit. That's how it works. Every bit of music created since I turned 18 is bad. Every single film released after I was 20 is just a, a derivative of films that came out before. That's what it was. No! Rufus! Rufus! Oh my god! He got some serious air... Rufus, I'm taking damage, mate. Now that was impressive airtime, but I need you to get back into the fight. I'm gonna need a lot more than you're giving me, Rufus. You're not giving me enough right now. What in the world is Lost Ark? Is it an Indiana Jones thing? Yes. Straight up, yes it is. So I'm taking a lot of damage, and I'm probably about to die. So let's just get some healing going on. Now, I've not left my son on his own. I've left him in the capable hands of a skeleton. So I'm not completely... You know, I'm not absolutely 100% a bad father. 99% probably. Do I watch Critical Role? I've I've watched it a couple of times before. I'm not a massive fan of it. Rufus, I'm going to need you back in the fight. I don't think Critical Role is bad. I think that what Critical Role has done for a lot of players is homogenise D&D. So Critical Role is, is an excellent show with an excellent DM and some very talented players. The problem is, because of its success... It has convinced everyone that this is what D&D needs to be. I mean, people even say it's the Matt Mercer effect. That's what it is. D&D is very fun to play with a group of players that all want the same experience. But since watching Critical Role, everyone says that you need to play like that. Now, that my God, these guys, these guys do not die well, do they? I mean, look, I've, I've found a couple of dead skeletons and they glitch all over the place. Critical Role is not bad. 
at all. Not bad whatsoever. But it's not the only way to do it. And that is what a lot of people have have come to see. Kind of like MMORPGs after World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft was not bad. What it did was show every company, hey, if you're not doing it this way, you're doing it wrong. I really like Critical Role. What I worry about is that other people watch Critical Role and think that is D&D. If my DM isn't doing this, my DM is bad. And that's that, that's not the way it is at all. Matt Mercer is a great DM, but he is Matt Mercer. And no one is going to DM. What are these guys doing? Hang on. All fight. There we go. Yeah, he is a great DM, but he is one way of DMing. There are others. What is the Matt Mercer effect? The Matt Mercer effect is thinking that if you have a Dungeons & Dragons DM, they have to act like Matt Mercer. And they don't. They can act like themselves. That's the best way to do it. Act like yourself. DM the way you want to DM. It's the best way to do it. DM the way you feel is right, the way you feel is fun. Because it's not just about copying what you've seen done. Don't yet. Yes, exactly. If it was, it would be the highest. It's very, very high quality. It's like saying, hey, I want to go and do martial arts. I've seen The Matrix. Therefore, all martial arts training must be exactly like that. I expect to be in a dojo with someone fully kitted up, you know, jumping around, doing flying kicks. And I expect to be a black belt immediately. That's what it is. I've not had a look at that d these things, though. It's, it's very much looking at the world-class top of the range professionals doing something and thinking my local group needs to be like that when it doesn't it doesn't at all it's not the way it needs to do it since it's the topic can i ask an mma related question yeah sure you ask whatever you want i mean i'm not saying my opinion will be valuable but you're happy to ask and i'm happy to answer you know what no i take it back my opinion is always valuable 100 percent the through through virtue of being a YouTuber, everything I say has more weight to it. Martial arts looks fun until you spend hours just stretching. Yeah, it's it's an important part to stretch in martial arts, but a lot of people just want the fighting stuff, and that's fine. If you just want the fighting stuff, that's absolutely fine. I'm sure you've been asked this, but have you played Lost Ark? Jay. Jay, I've actually not heard of Lost Ark. What's Lost Ark? More subscribers equals better opinions. Yes, that's what it is. The more subscribers someone has, the, the more smarter they are. They are... If I've said this before. The smart... If you ever need a question answered, ask a scientist, because they're really smart. But if you can't find a scientist, ask a YouTuber, because they're also really smart. If you can find a YouTuber scientist, like Smarter Every Day, Veritasium, these guys are the smartest of the smart. Okay, that, That's what they are. They are made of smart. That's what they are. So there's a wisp mother just there. Let's send my skeletons in. Send my son in. Go, son. Father will give you a push. Oh, I didn't manage to get you. Come on, guys. Everyone attack the wisp mother. And once the wisp mother's being attacked... We can get some... Oh, no, that's a lot. Of, that's too much damage for me. I'm going to hang back here. You guys can deal with the Wisp Mother. That's okay. I don't need this. Dross Drive debates a streamer as the smartest. Only the ones above are Instagram influencers. Oh, can you imagine? How smart are Instagram influencers? Did I participate in leagues this year? No, no, I did not. Assaulting an innocent mother, how could you? Very easily, in fact. I've got an army of skeletons and an unwanted son. Very easily. Josh Strife educates. What do you want to be educated on? I mean, the more subscribers you get, the smarter you are. And my subscriber count is going up every day. So I'm getting smarter every single day. So my opinions actually carry more weight every day. Every single day. What do you want to know? What do you want to know? You tell me what you want to know, I'll tell you. Can't wait for the OnlyFans. It's going to be there eventually. It's going to be there. To be fair, you're one-tenth as smart as someone with a million. It's that, That's spot on. Spot on. What's the meaning of life? That's 42. 
We all know that. Is the subscriber count equals smart some kind of pyramid scheme? Yes. Yes, it is, actually. And soon I'm going to need you to buy a picture of a monkey to continue the pyramid scheme on. Influencers are really good because they like having a megaphone that reaches millions. Yes. Yes. Yes, it would be. You might notice that... Oh, Rufus, you're really not helping. You guys might be noticing that the the crypto and the NFT is really picking up their... They're advertising. They've got Super Bowl advert. Rufus just flying into a grave. Oh my god, Rufus just got knocked into a grave. That was brilliant. Crypto is really picking up its advertising. And the reason for this is more people need to buy into the scam for the people who are involved to be able to cash out. If people don't buy in, the people who have bought in can't cash out. And people who have bought in want to cash out. So they need you to buy in so they can cash out. Please understand that's what it is. People have said crypto is going to improve the world for everyone and everyone's quality of life is going to get better. OK, cool. If that's the case, why do I need to buy in now? If everything is going to get better, why the rush? Why the pressure to get involved right now? Because you're feeling a bit cult-like. Josh, would you sell us a banana? Mate, I was a salesman. I can sell you everything. Do you guys want to know a secret about selling? Do you genuinely want to know a secret about selling? Sell me this pen. You don't sell a product. You sell a lifestyle and then attach the product to it. Think about it like this. Oh, hello, fire spirit. Think about it like this. You ever seen an advert on TV for vodka? Okay. Imagine you had to make a vodka advert. Except there's one rule. There is one rule. And this is a real rule. You can't show people drinking the vodka. You can't. You're not allowed. You're not allowed to show people drinking it in your actual advert. What do you put in your advert? Men in suits, poker game, expensive cars. Sell the image of being successful. Sell this sexy, sultry spy image. You want to sell your light beer. What do you do? You do an outside party, a barbecue, a multi-ethnic party, people smiling, holding bottles of light beer, slapping in slow motion, pointing toward a cousin or an uncle you haven't seen in, in ages. You're attaching that to that lifestyle. Perfume commercials. Rich, good-looking people. Yachts, planes, supercars, city at night time. That kind of stuff. Right. Don't sell a product. Work out the kind of lifestyle the person you're talking to wants to have. And then tell them that lifestyle will happen if they buy your product. I mean, because statistics have shown People who are subscribed to this channel are just more attractive. That's true. People, I, I did the maths. I did the numbers. Subs to this channel are, on average, the guys are over six foot tall. The girls are easily eight out of ten or higher. Guaranteed. Now, you'd notice I haven't sold you this channel. I haven't even told you what I do. Look what's happening. What I've told you is the lifestyle that you want will be achieved by subbing to the channel. I haven't told you the channel. I've not sold you that at all. Sold you the lifestyle. I'll take 10. Sold you the lifestyle. I used to sell drones. You know those things that fly in the sky, the little the cap, um, controller things? Yeah. People would come over to me and they'd be like, hey, tell me about these drones. And I thought, no, I'm not going to tell you about the drones. I'm not going to tell you about the camera or the battery life or the Chinesium quality it's made of. I'm going to tell you about the experience you're going to have when you own a drone. I'm going to tell you about the aerial shots that you see in films that you're going to be able to get. I'm going to tell you about the party outside in a huge big field that you're going to have and you're going to film it and you're going to create the memories for everyone else. I'm going to tell you about the drone racing that's really getting into where you fly it quickly through an old abandoned warehouse. I'm going to tell you about all that cool shit you can do. Then I'm going to show you a drone. And I'm not going to tell you that this drone is going to give you that life, but I'm going to heavily imply it. And then you're going to buy the drone from me. 
at no point have I sold you a drone. I have sold you a lifestyle. And that lifestyle just happened to have a drone in it. It's the best way you do it. Classic marketing, man. Classic marketing. I'll never lie to you. You might not like the truth I give you, but I'll never lie to you. Take five drones. You run the risk of the thing not getting sold. The person doesn't like the lifestyle. Oh, Ori, that's why the first thing you do when you're selling someone is you chat to them. You get to know them. You work out the lifestyle they want, then you add it into it. A great salesman can sell anything once, but a brilliant salesman can sell repeated things to the same person repeatedly. People always go, ooh, I tricked that person and got one sale. All right, cool, you've got one sale. You just pretty much lied your way out of the next 99 from the same person. Tell the truth. Be honest. Tell them the lifestyle they want and then give them the product. They're going to come back to you again and again and again and again and again. Yeah. You're selling me the idea of a lifestyle that represents the hole in my wallet where a drone is or would be. Yeah, pretty much. It's like buying a new iPhone. When you see an iPhone commercial, do you actually see the stuff it can do? No. You see the lifestyle, the kind of people who own an iPhone have. That's what it is. The best sales advice you can get for free. That's all it is. Sell a lifestyle. You sell a lifestyle. Why do you think... Again, we're going to go off on a bit of a tangent here, but you guys need to hear this. I have a friend who works for a charity shop. And they it's not like a random people donate stuff and they go through it. It's big companies send stuff that they can't sell to this shop. It's almost like um, a kind of discount store for everything. There are rules. If you are working in this shop and you pick up a, a top, a branded top, I don't know, you know, Ted Baker or some kind of nice expensive brand, if the branding is there, you have to destroy the top. You can't sell it. Why do you think that is? Well, it's because these big brands know if they were sold at discount prices, they would begin to be associated with this is cheap. The big brands would rather lose money in small sales, but keep their image because it's their image that makes them money and allows them to charge the ridiculous amount, not necessarily quality. Someone once said to the guy that owns Rolex, what's the watch business like? And he replied, I don't know. I'm in the luxury business. That's true. That's very true. That's the way you do it. Okay. If I had 10,000 you know, shirts and I sold them all for a pound each, I would get a reputation of selling cheap clothes. But if I sold exactly the same shirts for a hundred pounds each, I start to build a reputation as having a, an exclusive line. Suddenly people start to come to me, they want me. Why do you think Supreme just stick their branding on stuff and charge over the odds for it? Because that's the image they've got. That's the image they want to present to people, pretty much. Pretty much. It's, it's, yeah, it's supreme. That's all it is. That's what it is. If everybody could wear Gucci, nobody would care. That's why Gucci want to keep themselves super exclusive. That's what it is. Best salesman can sell the same item to multiple people. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. What build am I playing? Uh, Necromancer. We are going to play the Necromancer build. That's why I stay away from certain brands. You pay more for the brand than the item itself. Spot on, mate. 100% spot on. You get it. You get it. That's why I don't buy them. Is the chat still on the main monitor? Yes. Yes, it is. Right. Come on, guys. Let's... Uh... Oh, there's a skeleton just there. Let's level you up. I. Oh, goodness me. That did some serious damage. Good lord. Uh, guys, I want you involved because that, that hit me for a lot of damage. Let's heal myself. There we go. When did we stop the Stealth Archer build? We never started a Stealth Archer build, okay? We have constantly been doing the best build. Conjure Bound Bow, Flame Atronach. There we go. I still need to find somewhere to sleep. Because uh, right now, I am... I'm, I'm ready to level up, to be fair. Picking up the skeleton bits as well. This is mostly just a skeleton restock run. That's what it is. 
Uh, the build you can chat while doing stuff. What mods am I running? Rufus. Rufus the annoying child. Being young is wanting Cocoa Pops. Being older is settling for Tesco's Cocoa Pops. No, being older is going to buy Cocoa Pops whenever you want. Eating two bowls of Cocoa Pops and realising that two bowls is never as good as it sounds. I think being an adult is realising that the second bowl of cereal is never as good as you expect it's going to be. That brought a downer on the day, didn't it? See, this is what I do. This is the skill that I have when streaming. I like to build up the energy with, you know, oh yeah, really good positive stuff, really good salesman tactics, and then it's a roller coaster, and I'm in control, and occasionally you've got to bring it down. You've got to, because if we if we ride that roller coaster all the way to the top, you expect me to keep up this kind of energy for the whole time, okay? And I can't do that. So what I need to do occasionally is I just, I bring the energy down. I say something bad. It's about balance. You know, this, this stream isn't about being happy. It's about being content for an adequate amount of time. And then it's about being upset. And then what I'll do later is I'll, I'll say something great and I'll bring it back up. And it'll be fantastic. And you guys will be like, ah, oh, I, I was never worried. Drain heart sword. That's kind of cool. And then I'll bring it back up and it'd be great. But it's about balance. That's what it is. I'm thoroughly whelmed. Thank you. That is, that's pacing. That's what that is. That's pacing right there. All right. I've got more more pacing than most of the later Doctor Who episodes. That's how you know it's good quality stuff. It's how you know you're getting the best of the best right here. Yeah, it's okay. Shit. Okay. Shit. That's how I do this. How many people have redeemed VIP since you changed the price? I haven't checked. Probably someone. They probably got really annoyed. They're probably like, I wasted my points. But points, the points on this stream are about as useful as the points in Whose Line Is It Anyway? The scores are made up and the points don't matter. It's, that's, it, yeah, it's, it's pointless. They are meaningless. That's what it is. In my opinion, a snail has better pacing. You're not wrong. Where is my son? Why is he not involved in this fight against the enemy? Come on, skeleton. Yeah, okay, skeleton wizards over there. Sweet, so enemy skeleton wizards. Let's get, go Rufus! Rufus, get involved, mate. Yes, call them Mammoth Nose. Hit them where it hurts, in the in the emotion. I know what really hurts dra Oh shit, sorry Rufus, that was that was you. My bad. My bad. Occasionally father will shoot you with an arrow. It's it's just part of life. Learn to live with it. We can't hear the game. I mean you brought this upon yourself, okay? Let's just check. There we go. Now, you, you, we can't hear the game. You can now. All right, you can now. Oh, man. Not the game sounds. We can't. You will be eventually. I used to be an adventurer like you until my father killed me with an arrow. You fool, you buffoon. I've turned it up in the desktop audio, don't you worry. Okay, it's turned up. I mean, if I put my flames on now, slightly louder. Very slightly louder. Can you play Lost Ark? I can. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to. But I could. There's a soul gem just there. Gotcha, Mr. Soul Gem. Conjure Flame Atronite Bound Bow. Very slightly fiery noise. Don't make, don't make me tap the sign. For real, we are not getting game audio somehow. That's probably because I've turned it down. That's You, you know what? Okay. I mean, that's like maximum, maximum volume right here. Are we getting slightly more? I mean, don't tell me this is good. I can see sound. Good. As long as you can see the sound right now, I suppose we're all doing pretty well. This is the good stuff. I can slightly hear it. Arrow sound. Yeah, arrow sound. Am I going to play some Guild Wars 2 once the expansion comes out? No, no, I was planning on deleting Guild Wars 2 and never thinking about it again. That was the plan. That was the original idea. I just thought, you know what? It's not for me anymore. It's uh, it's time to move on. It's time to do something different. That's what it is. Like, what do you what do you expect my answer to that question to be? Like, legitimately, what what is the answer? 
So why am I going all the way back there? Like, what am I? Where am I meant to be? Hang on. Hang on. That is that door that I needed the thing for. Rufus, move. There we go. That gets me to here. Where am I trying to get? I need to be down, what, down there? Oh, travels to Solstheim. Have I found... Hang on, I wasn't even paying attention. Have I found the staff? Find the staff of Magnus. Forget Dragonborn, staff of Magnus. That's what I need. Thank Oh, thank you. Sweet. I was worried for a second then. I was thinking, where am I? Why no Lost Ark? Lost Ark killed my parents. I'm sorry, I can't deal with it. I, I can't. It's too emotionally painful right now. Anytime someone asks me why Lost Ark, can we just make up a different reason? Uh, Lost Ark doesn't run on my computer. Apparently it wasn't set up for Windows 98. Am I Batman? Uh, no. No, it's just same same backstory, but I never... I wasn't a billionaire. That's the problem. Lost Ark killed Terra. I can't find it. Am I still covering mobile games? Uh, I hope not. That's not an enemy, but I am going to shoot you. There we go. I do hope not. Lost Ark bullied me back. Yeah, Lost Ark actually was my... Yeah, Lost Ark, I think, played a major part in my parents' divorce. And I just... I can't get over it. I just can't move past it. That's the problem. I know that they kept telling me that it wasn't my fault. But you know when you just believe something? Please turn up sound. I, I'm only watching you as background and I can't hear the game. You know what? Fuck it. Desktop audio, properties, filters, change gain, edit filters, gain. There we go. Flames. Loud enough, Fina? We good? Turn the game down, it's too loud. Don't. You tell me what to do. Alright. We need more. You know what? I'll just put the microphone by the speakers. There we go. You got double sounds going on there. How's that good? Is that better? Is that working? It's actually okay. It's perfect now. Please don't change that. It's good. Hell yeah. Now it's good. Let's go. I, I don't know what to believe anymore. I don't know what to trust. Delicious audio. Can you put yourself down? You're too loud. Can I put myself down? Sure. Josh, you're not as good a Twitch streamer as you think you are. There we go. That took me down a peg or two. You know, the best way to insult someone is just to, like, just to say the basic stuff. You know, like, like when a child walks up to you and go, you look tired. And you're thinking, I feel great. I just woke up. I'm moisturized. I'm covered in makeup. I'm ready. If you think I look tired, I must look like shit. I swear to God, when a kid tells you you look tired, you know you look bad. Put yourself down right now. Put myself down. Josh, you're only where you are because of Asmongold. There we go. Straight. Done. It hurts, but occasionally it's worth taking yourself down a peg or two. Just remind yourself. That is so true. Stop it. GG, small child. <laughs> GG. You are tired. I need to have a nap. I need to find somewhere to sleep in this dungeon. If not, we'll just keep going for a bit. We'll find... Oh, take this. Oh! Right, apparently that's trapped. I... Oh, wait. How far back are we? Oh, for God's sake. Okay, we're back here. This is fine. Hey, my archery increased. Sweet, that's pretty good. Let's get, uh, let's get, there we go. Let's get a thing going on. What features would I like to see in Starfield? I mean, yeah, obviously I, I appreciate you asking my opinion on Starfield as a game that I've literally just heard of right now. 
I've got opinions, I've got thoughts, I've got feelings. I think what Starfield really need to add is more romanceable NPCs. There's not enough. Okay? I will not stop until you've got at least 50. That's what we need. It'd be cool if they added stars to it. You know what I loved earlier? The One of the lead narrative devs on Guild... Someone tweeted out, if you had unlimited money to make an MMORPG, what would you make? And one of the lead narrative devs from Guild Wars 2 replied, a game that would never come out. And everyone immediately started posting GIFs of Star Citizen. Now, I know that the dev wasn't specifically talking about Star Citizen, but yeah, we can, you know, you can extrapolate from incomplete information, can't you? It, it really is a case of this ain't happening. This just ain't happening. Rev, thank you for the Prime sub, man. It just ain't happening. Oh, have you guys seen the latest drama with Star Citizen? They have removed their roadmap because players were asking for too much. That's what it was. They've actually they had a roadmap and they've taken it away and they've said, this is causing more hassle than it's giving us benefit. We are telling you that we're going to do things and then we are not doing things and you are annoyed that we're not doing things that we said we were going to do. So to solve this problem, we're not going to do the things. That would be bad. We're going to take away the map that tells you that we're going to do the things. That way you can't be annoyed when we don't do the things because at no point did we ever tell you we were going to do the things. And then people wonder why it doesn't come out. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty much lumping Star Citizen in with Dreamworld right now. It's It makes a lot more money for them to just keep selling nothing. That's what it does. It's so much more effective to keep selling nothing. Yeah, can't reach a deadline? Just remove it. Just remove the deadline, and then you are good. Now, that thing is going to shoot me. I wonder if it would shoot Rufus. Rufus, can we... Hang on, just... Move out of the way. There we go. I need... Ru Rufus, I've got to get behind... Hang on, I need to get behind my son. There we go. Let's just see if it would shoot Rufus. Who the fuck is Rufus? Rufus is my idiot child. Look at him. Look at his dumb face. He asked for an allowance. He's not getting an allowance. He's he's lucky I allow him to live. In we go, Rufus. Come on, I need you to go toward the, the thing that's going to shoot us. Let's just wait for my shout to recharge. It's the tank. Yeah, pretty much. He is the... Does he have red hair? Annoyingly, yes. He's the tank. Let's just wait. Go, Rufus. Oh, that just blew something up. Interesting. Maybe I could just shoot a thing there. That might work. Ah, brilliant. Okay, cool. That works. And then it gets flamed by something, and then there's an explosion of fire. Oh, there we go! Brilliant. Rufus, go into the death trap. That's what we need more of. Star Citizen looks good so far. I mean, yeah, it looks fine. It's just not ready to be played. It looks good. It's not ready to be played yet. Please understand that. And people even tweeted out, someone put on Reddit, when you invest in Star Citizen, you're not investing in a game. You're investing in one man's dream. All right, I would, I would rather invest in a game than one man's dream, to be honest. It's... I'm not giving a developer money because they think one day they might possibly be able to make a game. I would give a developer money if they can prove to me they can make a really good game. That, to me, I know that sounds dumb. Give a dev money when they prove they can make a game. But that's just the old school attitude that I've got. Can we invest in your dream? My dreams are very strange. I had a dream yesterday that I was going flat shopping with the Spiffing Brit. That's well, that's my dream. Like, we were just walking around flats, looking at them going, eh, kitchen's all right, a decent sized living room, it's close enough to a train station, we can get around. If you've got a room to record and make videos in, I've got a room to make it. It wasn't even difficult. It was just like a genuine, oh, let's just have a look at some flats. That was fine. I'd invest in that. That's the dream. 
I've told Spiff if he comes down to Insomnia, I will play a game of Magic the Gathering against him. Is anyone in chat thinking about going to Insomnia Fest in the UK? Insomnia is a massive gaming festival that takes part in Birmingham in the NEC. If you are going to Insomnia Fest this year, you'll meet me. I'll be there. I will be hanging around saying hi to people. I will also be running a Dungeons & Dragons game, probably on the Sunday. Haven't yet confirmed, but probably on the Sunday. I'll be running a D&D game on one of the stages for three other YouTubers. One of them will be Callum Upton. You guys know him from the Tangent Tavern. So we'll have that kind of stuff going on. It should be super good fun. I'm very excited about that. The second stage, obviously. Obviously, I'm not going to be on the main stage. I'm going to come out of your second monitors and onto your second stage. That is the that is the process that I'm going to go through. Do I play Commander or EDH? No, I play Modern. I haven't yet got a Commander deck, but I, I know that I need to get. So I will be attempting to, to build a Commander deck at some point. Quick save. Done. Quick saved and done. Modern's fine. Asmongold is going to start in one-shot D&D games. I would happily DM a one-shot for Asmongold. Will I be live-streaming it? I don't know. Is this an unarmed build? Oh, no, no. We're very armed with magic. See? We've we've got that dude just there. He, is he attacking my son? I think... Oh, Rufus! Rufus, father's in trouble. Just going to close that door just there. Let's summon my own little thing to attack it. Where's my son gone? Where are you, Rufus? Rufus? Where are my skeletons? Where the frick is all of my backup? Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm meant to have a son and two skeletons, and none of them are here. What does the adder boy do? That's me praising you. I will praise you. This is the plot of Finding Nemo. This is the plot of Fallout 4, isn't it? That's what it is. Oh, is he, he's got to be over there. He's there! Look at the little babe. There he is. Oh, Rufus, you're making Daddy proud. Let me just come in and mop up the Spectral Warhounds for you. I, I'll, I might miss a couple of times. It's okay. Don't you worry. There we go. Help us here. Okay, go on, Draugr Death Lord. You just try and take out my son. Guarantee you won't be able to, mate. I'm just gonna. I'm. I'm not the most damagey. Worst archer ever, pretty much. Let's put a. Let's put a thing down there. Where are my skeletons? I'm meant to have two skeletons. There's bats there. I'm pretty sure I've still got two skeletons. Are the effects still there? Flame action axe, skeleton mage, skeleton mage. Yeah, they should be there. They just aren't there. I found your YouTube channel from your What Are NFTs video. I don't play MMOs, but your commentary are pleasant. I'm glad. I'm really glad you enjoy them. 100,000 strawberries for a brief ego boost. Yes. I'm going to sleep. Wish me good night. Duncan, may you master the taint. There we go. You're welcome. You are welcome. What happened when someone becomes a VIP? That's pretty simple. I miss the notification and then nothing happens. Okay. Have you tried... No, not yet. Not yet. I, I do have much... My son is just getting absolutely knocked around by a Draugr Death Lord. And I am just slowly but surely... Take... Yes! Take it... Oh, good! Now my skeletons appear. Once the Draugr Death Lord is done, the Drain Blood Battle Axe. Now I'm good without that. May I suggest you pause the game and try out lot... Not Dexter's, I appreciate the uh, the donation. Thank you very much. Right, what else are we doing over here? There's a chair we can sit on. There's a couple of dead... Dead Draugr's. And there's a wall of dragon words. Let's learn something else. Word of power learned. Time, slow time. Alright, we can make time go a little bit slower. How do we... Do oh, I bet we have to use it here. Look at this. Will I do content for Lost Ark? Um, no. Never. Literally never. I'm going to say right now, with all certainty... What the hell is that? That is 
a... That's not good. If I gift you a mug at Insomnia, this is my favourite second monitor, will you use it? Yes, I will. I guarantee. Thank you for the tip, by the way. That's very, very kind of you. The hell is this Lost Ark everyone keeps mentioning? It's a new MMORPG, a new Korean top-down MMO that's come out today that apparently is pretty... Oh my god, that's a big ice monster. That apparently is quite good. And I've got nothing that says it's not quite good, so everyone thinks it's the second coming of Christ. Everyone is saying it is the greatest thing since Tummy Rubs, and everyone wants everyone to play it. I know that Asmongold's playing it, a lot of other people are playing it. It's, it's this month's flavour, that's what it is. It's this month's New World, except it might be, you know, handled a little bit better. That's what it might be. Can you tell us why you aren't playing Lost Ark? Um, court order. Court injunction. The, the devs were too scared of what I might say, and so specifically banned me from playing the game. That's what it was. It's not my fault. I mean, I would love to play it. But, you know, what, what can you do? It was uh, an official court meeting... It was held in Cryptoland, and they said, Josh, you can't do this. And I thought, if there's one authority in the land that I bow down to, it's Cryptoland. Those guys have got their shit together. So that's when I had to, uh, I had to just say, you know what, okay, I understand. I'll do that. Did I hear about virtual real estate? Uh, yeah, once or twice. Game ending series come back to bite you. Poor Rufus, that's oh, fine. I thought Lost Ark was your first high school love, but it rejected you, and now you're too scared. Oh, I remember her. My first love. Being rejected. First time I ever punched a guy, as well. I mean, the story's not connected with her, but there was... Oh, it's a, it's a triangle, guys. Let me tell you the story. The first time I ever punched a guy. It was a real story, as well. When I was in school primary school. I was in love. Madly in love with a girl. You know, let's call her Abigail, because that was her name. And there was another boy who was a year older than me, and he was tough and strong and powerful. Let's call him James, because that was his name. And one day, James was talking to Abigail, and I didn't like that. Because when you're in primary school and you're dating someone, what it means is you walk up to them and say, hey, do you want to go out with me? And they say yes. And then you never talk to each other again. You never interact. You never do anything. You're just connected via the invisible medium of dating. And if anyone else ever talks to your girlfriend, despite the fact that you don't even talk to your girlfriend, that's a violation of the rules. But I knew James was bigger than me. I can't do anything. I can't hurt him. I'm just a small, weak nerd. So after school, there was a thing called After School Club, where if your parents were working late, you pretty much just chilled out in one of those weird mobile classroom things and just waited for your parents to come pick you up. And my mum and dad were working late at the time, so I used to chill there quite often. It was a regular standard thing. I didn't mind it. I got some time alone, got to read some books. I had a Game Boy Advance. I know. I was one of the lucky kids. Game Boy Advance. And you know what I was playing on my Game Boy Advance? I was playing Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. Now, this is a very specific part of the story, because the Game Boy Advance was designed for smaller cartridges. But the regular Game Boy cartridges were quite big. So if you put a regular cartridge in a Game Boy Advance, it would still play it, but it would kind of stick out the back a little bit. It wouldn't be smooth with the actual handheld console. So I was there... Legend, Link to the Past, by the way. Amazing game. I was there playing A Link to the Past, and I'd just beaten one of the bosses. Can't remember which one, but I'd beaten one of them. And James walks into the room I'm in. And I'm in the room alone, just leaving everyone alone. And James walks up, and without missing a beat, he puts his hand on the cartridge and pulls it out. And I hadn't saved. So, young, nine-year-old skinny, dweeby me just calmly turns off the Game Boy Advance, puts it down, stands up, and I just punch James in the face really hard. That was the first time I ever hit someone in anger. Like, I didn't even process it. I just thought, you fucked up a link to the past. You get a punch for that. Just smacked him in the face. And he ran out of the room crying. 
And he didn't go and tell the teachers because what's he going to say? Miss, the nerdy kid that I've been bullying just punched me. He's not going to say that at all. Now, I like to think that Abigail found out about that. And I like to think that she loved me even more. But what actually happened was she stopped talking to me. And then I think she ended up dating James. But I stand by my convictions of doing the right thing. If someone pulls out a Game Boy Advance game from the Game Boy while you're playing it, you can punch them. There we go. That's what I'll say. That's, that, that's exactly what, what I'll be okay with that. I think I... Who's the real winner? Because James may have ended up with the girl, but I finished A Link to the Past. And I think that is more valuable in, in my life than, you know, di disregard females. Acquire the... It was, uh, it was instruments in A Link to the Past, wasn't it? No, that's Link's Awakening. Link's Awakening is where you have the wind fish and you have to wake it back up on the island. What were you collecting in A Link to the Past? It was weapons? Things? Rupees? Stuff. Stuff. Acquire eight items in Legend of Zelda games. There we go. Disregard females. Acquire the Triforce. That's what we need to do. That is a story from me to you for how you successfully deal with school bullies. So, if you're being bullied in school, go and buy a Game Boy Advance. That's what I mean. Not using a mug. This is a Le Creuset mug. That's expensive, all right? This is a very expensive mug. And do you know how I know that? Because we bought it from TK Maxx when it was on sale for like 70% off. Because no one should pay full price for that. I've got to remember to wash that later, okay? You just made me. I just generated washing up in order to create content for a stream. That is how professional I am. Hmm. That's the Josh Drivez equivalent of a 200k car. <laughs> oh, Josh, you're using a Le Creuset mug. Yeah, but I bought it from TK Maxx when it was, you know, a lot of money off. That's what we need to do. Got a $90 wallet on 80% off before. You know what? I, oh, God, there's lots of damage. What I love is whenever you buy something expensive, you should be really proud of how much money you managed to get off it. That's what you should do. British money flexing. If I'm going to... Rufus, get involved. If I want to money flex, I'm going to say, you know, how much I managed to get off tea bags and stuff. Because I only buy tea bags when they're money off. Rufus's eyes are closed. Yeah, he's an idiot, that's why. Nice grey hair. Copy strike. I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm doing the whole silver fox look. I don't know if you've ever seen George Clooney. I mean, if, if you haven't, he's a very famous actor. You should go and see him. But my plan is to do that kind of thing, that silver fox look. That's what I'm going for. I'm right, going for the full-on silver fox. Yes, but George Clooney is hot. Oh, that hurt. That dug to the centre of me. Hey, how's it going? I need... Uh, oh, okay, so I'm guessing you... I need to attack those people? That's... Oh, man, that's like a kid saying that you look tired. Yes, but George Clooney is hot. You know what? Message received. Message picked up. Message understood. Good. All right, I'm going to kill the enthralled wizard, have we? Yeah, let's just see what we can do to get rid of you guys. And once the enthralled wizard is dealt with, I'm going to assume we try to kill Mordecai, this guy here. Oh, man, imagine waking up from your slumber, your thousand-year slumber, and the first thing you see is three rats, two skeletons, and a ginger kid. Oh, man, this is this feels like a shit D&D &D session, doesn't it? That's what it feels like. It really... Do oh, God. 
Just kill my own skeleton. It really does feel like a D&D &D session gone wrong. Oh! Oh, god damn it. So close. So close. Commenting for the first time to note I mainly watch Josh's streams because he's hot. Thank you, Praga. I appreciate that. I know more people should PM me to let me know that. This is what Skyrim feels like in general. This fight seems pretty tough, to be fair. I didn't realise this fight was this tough. So let's um, let's summon a flame atronach. That's increased my conjuration. That's good. The ginger kid is the most terrifying one in the room. He has no soul. Yeah, you can't soul trap him. We've tried. We have legitimately tried. Oh, God, there you are. We tried to soul trap that kid. You can't do it. There's nothing in there to trap. Let's knock you down a little bit. Run over here. We only died because we ran out of health. So if we can not run out of health... See, what we need to do now is not... I know that sounds dumb. We only died because we... Shut up, okay? I'm trying to Skyrim really well. You had a son just to try to soul trap him. You've got to make do in Skyrim world. You know, souls aren't everywhere. You've just got to make do. Let's push you away, enthralled wizard. Trying. Yeah, okay, there we go. Go on, son. Go and attack the immortal Demi Lich. Why do you want to play on hardest difficulty if you cheese it with a kid? I'm not on the hardest difficulty. I turned it down. I turned it down. I know the whole second monitor thing is a good joke, but I unironically love having one in the background. No, genuinely, thank you. I appreciate that. I really do appreciate that. I It started as a joke, and now I've just embraced it, because on your primary monitor, you're going to be playing a game. On your, on your main monitor, you want to play something, you want to watch something. Very few people actually pay a load of attention to Twitch streams. Most people, like YouTube videos, have them on in the background. So what I try and do is just be entertaining on the second monitor. That's what I want to do. Um, why is why is the boss not bothered? Why are you chilling? Can you all fight, please? Come on, guys, all fight. Let's do this. Is he not attacking me back? Do we need to talk to him or something? Oh, no, no, he's very, very dangerous. No, we don't talk to the angry immortal. We do attempt to kill him. Let's keep trying to attempt to kill Mordecai. Morokai, or however you want to say it. My son was casting to the TV to turn off everything I put on. I started casting this broadcast, and now he's happily watching. Shoo, that's... I am basically just a, an unpaid childminder. That's what I, I do. I mean, we're going to put on some Cocoa Melon in a minute. We'll start doing that. We'll sing Baby Shark. I had a moment earlier when I knew that I was old. I was watching the Brit Awards, and every single award, I was just like, who? Have you ever had that moment where you're just looking going, what are you on about? What? Who are these people? Who? Who is doing this music? Have you ever turned on Radio 2 and realised that it's better than Radio 1? That's, that was a moment, that was. I swear to God, when I turned on Radio 2 and I thought, oh, there's some banging tunes on this one. That's when I thought, wow, I am old. That's when it hit me. It scared me. It did. You're missing your flame. My flame? Oh, my flame? What's the flame? Oh, my flame dude. Yeah, I know what you mean. Hang on. There we go. It's got the flame dude going on. Thank you for reminding me. That was like three, how the mighty have fallen. It's strange, isn't it? You get our, it, I used to be with it, but then they changed what it was, and now it is scary. It'll happen to you too. The Simpsons did it first. The Simpsons predicted it. I did not Red Sky, unfortunately. I was too busy trying to sort out the other Twitch channels. But thank you for doing that. Red Sky managed to find a one-handed crossbow mod that will work with... Well, you made, effectively, a one-handed crossbow mod that will work with... Skyrim Special Edition, which I appreciate. Survival mode, yep. 100% survival mode. Sweet! Staff of Magnus. If the target is out of Magicka, absorb health. Sweet! Oh, Morakai. Magic regenerates faster. Cloak of Morakai. We'll take it. Does that mean I've now got... 
All right, so what am I, on my face currently is something. Tri tribunal Mask Gold. But if we go instead to... Hang on. Random crash on the lights. There we go. If I go instead, so Tribal Mask Gold. Let's put on Morakai instead. Warmth goes down, armor goes down, but magic regenerates 100% faster. Yes, please. Oh my god, that is so much nicer. Okay, cool. We now have our face covered. Which is good. Because if you've not been to the stream before... Ad, thank you very much for the Prime sub. Young Prince, you as well. If you've not been to this stream before, you haven't... Oh, wait, you can wear both. You can wear the Tribunal Mask and Morakai. That's weird. I. That's definitely not meant to happen. But we can do both. It looks good, doesn't it? I'm going to keep it. It looks fine. If you've not been to the stream before, my character is not the best. This is Twitch Chat the third. Now, if you are a regular to the stream, you know how it works. Twitch Chat the first completed Oblivion. His grandson, Twitch Chat the second, fought his way through Dragon Age 1. And Twitch Chat the third is the product of many years of many bad decisions. And he is fighting his way through Skyrim. When we finish Skyrim and go to something else, oh my FG, what happened to his face? Life. That is a face that has seen some, some living. Some existence. That's what that is. Twitch chat the third bathtub stream when? Oh, you, you would be so lucky. Morakai. Okay, so the Morakai is basically... I seem to have glitched two masks together, but it actually looks kind of badass. So I'm going to keep it like that. That's that's pretty cool. We are keeping two masks glitched together. What about Morrowind? I don't know if I hate myself enough to replay Morrowind again. Because Morrowind is a very hard game to replay. Like, it is not an easy game. Morrowind is... It's a brutally unforgiving RPG. It really is. Can we... Is there a secret down here? There's, oh, there we go. Gold, healing, that's all I need from you. Thank you very much for the secret. Any more secrets back here anywhere? Now we're good. Okay, now we have to get out. Now we have to leave. What is the easiest way to leave? I'm going to assume it's like over there maybe, behind where the dude was. Let's go and see if it's behind where the dude was. You are hungry. Thankfully we've got some food. Did someone say we are the highest rated? I love your videos. Series on Otherland. Oh, thank you very much. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you are having a lovely day. Going to play Baldur's Gate eventually. As soon as it's out. As soon as it's all ready. Nothing against playing a bit of Baldur's Gate. I am a fan of Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. I hope 3 can continue the series' run of being fantastic. Easiest way to leave is usually the door. Well, that's exactly why we're not doing that. Uh, that that's too easy, if anything. I don't want to make this game too easy for anyone. Too easy seems boring. Oh! Was there a secret thing over there? I don't think there was. This way... Oh, big chest! There we go. Always grab a big chest when you've got the chance. The Welkin Stone completely restores Magicka. Uh, prices are better. Circlet of Major Destruction. Bosma Boots. Now, nah, we'll be okay without the Bosma Boots. Amazing chest ahead. Let's open this door. Pop outside. Am I going to play Elden Ring? Uh, no, probably not. I'm probably going to play Eternal Ring, which was the original PlayStation 2 game by From Software that, from what I remember, is terrible. Now, where are we? I'm guessing we're back at the start somewhere. Good advice. Big chest should always be grabbed. Whatever floats your boat, mate. Whatever floats your boat. As long as it's all consensual, you live your best life. That's my advice to everyone. Right, so... Oh, that's an enemy. Is that an enemy? Is that the dude? So, you made it out of there alive. Oh, sweet. That's the dude. I know him. I'm afraid I'll have to take oh, he wants the staff. Okay, sweet. I mean, I've got no quarrel with you, mate. I'm afraid you do. Let's just make the thing. Oh, goodness me. Rufus, go and attack father's enemies. Get in there, Rufus. Go, Rufus. 
Okay, let's just cast you again to really establish some dominance. I am liking how my magic is recharging faster. Ooh, oh, that was bread there. Not really excited for a second. Give him Rufus. Am I... Are you never going to play Mass Effect? Corwin, that's true. I... I am never going to play Mass Effect. I swore an oath many years ago to a dear friend that I would never play Mass Effect. And I intend to keep that oath. Will I play Tinder on stream? I wouldn't be able to use the cheat codes, so no, it wouldn't be as easy. That's the problem. The friend was a deer. Yes, I was raised in the woods by deer. Is this modded in any way? Yes, it is. I have given myself a son, not the skeleton, the idiot behind him knocking the thing over. That's what I've given myself. Okay, I need to go back to Skyrim and have a nap. Hope I've had a good day. You know what? I've had a very good day. It's been a... a oh, there's a troll down there. Shall we uh, get, a bit, get a bit of a drop on it? Yeah, sneak attack, double damage. Rufus, hang on. Let's just head over here. Rufus, off you go. There we go. Rufus is on his way. He's doing his thing. He's going to be tanking that troll no time. There he is. Off he pops. It's never not. It's never not funny, is it? It's never. We are going to go through all of Skyrim, and it will always. Oh, can you imagine how far we're going to be able to yeet Rufus once we get the full-on Fus Rodar? When we get the final part of the thing. Oh, that's going to be great. Oh, when we can properly yeet Rufus. Twitch Chat the Fourth is going to be. Oh my God! Can you imagine if Twitch Chat the Fourth was Rufus? But grown up. Oh, the lore gets deeper. That's, yeah, that might be something we need to do. I have assembled all three dragon shout words of child abuse. That's what we've got. Okay, so that's the labyrinth. We're at the labyrinth right now. Where have I got to get to? I've got to get to basically anywhere that... I've got to get all back to Winterhold to start off with. The closest city to us is Morthal, and that's northwest. So it might be easier, though, to get to Whiterun by going southeast. If I run southeast, because attempting to get to Morthal is going to mean going through a hell of a lot of mountains, attempting to get to Whiterun, pretty much a straight line. Any thoughts on Picard Season 2? I've not seen Picard Season 1. I'm actually working my way through the next generation. I am a huge Next Generation fan. I think Star Trek The Next Generation is probably one of the best TV shows ever made. It's brilliant. It deals with issues that modern shows wouldn't touch with a barge pole, man. It deals with... One of the reasons I love it is Next Generation episodes often don't have definitive right or wrong answers. It's just a lot of complex situations with a lot of complex beliefs. And when the show presents you answers, it's never saying this is objectively correct. It's often saying this is one way of looking at a complex situation, which I love. I really love that. It's the it's the balanced approach to storytelling and to subtle, nuanced questions that that the next generation gets really right. That's what it is. But once I finish watching the next generation, I want to watch the original series through, and then I want to watch Picard, Deep Space Nine. All I want to spend a lot of time, you know, catching up on pretty much all of the all the Star Trek stuff that I've missed. What do I think about Best of Both Worlds? Which one was that one again? Was that the Borg? If it was the, the Best of Both Worlds Part 1 and Part 2, phenomenal episode. Absolutely phenomenal. The fact that it ended with that cliffhanger as well. Riker just saying fire. Oh, man. I loved it. I thought it was great. It was really good. What about Symbiosis? What happened in Symbiosis? Because I know the episodes, but I don't always know the names. So you'll have to uh, 
You'll have to help me out with the specific names of exactly what happened. So what was the one in Symbiosis? I just watched the, the Outcast one, which was really good. The Two Planets and the Plague. Oh, God, yeah, where one of the planets, they don't actually have the problem, but they are convinced to keep making the medicine and the solution. They buy it from the other planet, and it ends up being one of those things where if they stop selling them the planet, then the rich planet would end up dying, and it was... It's subtle. That's the thing with the next generation. It doesn't just say, hey, there's an objectively right way to solve this. Ever play Borderlands? Yes, I have. Someone tell me, what is Lost Ark? It is the plot of the first Indiana Jones movie. That's what it is. The rich planet was pumping the poor planet with narcotics, lying that it's a plague. That was the one. That was the one. And the rich planet was saying, hey, if you take this away from us, you know, we're not going to be able to, to sell them the cure for the disease that we're giving them. Yeah, it's... It, to me, it's an excellent show. I really enjoy it. The Ark of the Alliance. Yeah, pretty much. Reading the text in the middle, I feel it's a disservice, Josh, if I don't ask the question. I'm not playing Lost Ark right now. I just thought people should want to know that. Have I got 5,000 gold yet? 907. I should probably sell some stuff to get 5,000 gold and buy a house. I need a house somewhere. Probably inside Whiterun. That would be useful. I'll pick my house up. But we can jump up here. Just running back for a bit. This looks way too messy to be unmodded. Oh no, it's it's modded. There, there's some moddy stuff going on, don't you worry. There is some mod stuff happening. Let's just stick it down to there. There we go. Thoughts on Future Armor being revived? I like Future Armor, but I think it ended perfectly. I don't necessarily think adding anything else to Future Armor would make it better. It was a really good end. Fubars typing in exclamation mark mod list as if I've got something that advanced. Uh, I've got Rufus, my idiot son. I'm using immersive weapons and immersive armors. I'm also using the Ordinator skill tree rework so I can use necromancy. And I think I've put cloaks of Skyrim in as well so I can wear a cloak. There we go. What we got? Ever played Suikoden? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Have you seen uh, Disenchantment? Not yet. It's on the list. I have a long list of things to do. Have I got any Lover's Lab mods? No. I am sorry. No. I I could put them in, I'm sure. But as standard? N no. Th th there's no Lover's Lab. I'm sorry. Why did I hesitate? Because I had to remember whether it was this version of Skyrim that was modded or the other version that I play in my free time. This version? No. That's what it is. Here's to many more months to come. Thank you, Chon. Thank you very much. That's remarkably kind of you. Bella Thor, let me sell you some stuff, mate, because I have got stuff that I do not need. All right, so. Ancient Nord arrows. Dwarven arrows. Get rid of all of them. I'm not using regular stuff. Staff of stuff. Staff of zombies sucks. I can raise things anyway. Staff of sparks. Don't need it. Uh, what else do I not need? That's fine. What about my apparel? What can I sell here? Kinnereth is crap. Cloak of Morakai. Don't need. You're bad. Cultist robes are fine. Faster Magicka. Gold Emerald Ring. Major Circlet. I'll, I'll get rid of some of these stuff eventually. Uh, Silver Garnet Rings. Crap. Oh, we've got the hype train going on. Thank you very much. Lord, thank you. Just here to drop off the Prime. It's remarkably kind of you. Thank you very much. Hopefully you've had a lovely day. Jeez, Rob Stark, are you ever going to play Lost Ark again? Eventually. No Sky UI. I thought about installing Sky UI. But then I thought if I didn't, I'm probably going to annoy a lot of people. And that to me is, that's worth a lot of money. So let's just get rid of all these things I don't need. Lingering poison, recovery. Yeah, that's fine as well. Okay. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll sell that to you. Now, what can you sell me? 18 points of hunger. Basically, nothing good. You got nothing good on you, Balathor. How much money I got now? Oh, 1,600 gold. Sweet. Getting closer. Closer to that beautiful house. Last time you said you couldn't make Sky UI work, I was here. I found a way to make it work. And by that, I mean I googled until someone showed me how it should work. And then I realized, no, I've committed now. 
I've committed. I'm sure Twitch chat looks beautiful underneath. No, no, he looks worse underneath. He looks much worse. Right, what have you got for sale? You've probably got some food on you, haven't you? You probably sell decent food. Apple pie, that's good. We'll get you. Thank you for the prime, sir, peanuts. That's remarkably kind of you. Sky UI got broken for a while. Small update. Headed out. Have a good night. You have a good night too, Ori. Take care of yourself. He deserves to treat himself to Sky UI. First time on Twitch, specifically for that second monitor content, Terminator. The hype train is a mechanic that Twitch created to make people spend more money. That's what it is. If enough people sub or donate or cheer within a very small period of time, it starts the hype train. You can see it on the top of the screen, on the above the chat. What then happens is every time someone cheers or donates or subs while the hype train is active, they get like an exclusive emote to use across all of Twitch. And the more, I mean, Mega Cricket, thank you for the gift. The more people do that, the hype train goes to like the next level, the next level, the next level. The maximum level is five. Now, I'm going to spoil it for you guys. This channel has unlocked every single tier five emote. It's insane. We've managed to get it all the way up there. You don't need to spend money if you don't want to. It's just a trick that Twitch have done to make you spend money. If you're not comfortable with it, you don't need sure to feel pressured. Chapter Master, thank you very much for continuing the sub. I just want to provide Actually, the funniest so. Skyrim That's experience I can to you. That's what it is. Greetings from Portugal. Hello, Portugal. How's Portugal doing? Hope you guys are having a lovely time. It's all about money. Always has been. I've always said to you guys, I'll be honest. Even if you don't like the honesty. Have I tried Skyrim VR? Yes, I've got a PlayStation 4 VR. Or I had a PS4 VR. We haven't got the place to set it up right now. But I'm thinking about buying an Oculus Quest. The Quest 2. They're meant to be quite good. So I want to look into getting one of those at some point. They're meant to be decent. My goodness. Lays, thank you very much for the sub. The gifting, 11 tier 1 subs. That's incredibly kind of you. Thank you so, so much. But no, I do want to get into it. The Quest 2 is sexy. It does look good, doesn't it? It does look good. We're going to level up Magicka again. Uh, oh, Magicka again. Sweet. That should give me... If I go to Conjuration... Perks to increase 3? Okay, hang on. So, Conjuration. Look at this. This is going to be good. This is going to be very good. Here we go. So, Dead Tide. Increased number of skeletons. Yes, please. Barrow Lord, I've already got. Skeleton Mages. Able to create Skeleton Mages. Fire, Frost, Shock. You may choose their element at the time of creation. And what's this one? Conjure Altar. Summon a Bone Altar for 60 seconds. Fire Ritual. Able to burn one of each bone. Assume control of a skeleton while becoming invulnerable. Interesting. I could command my own skeletons. This is pretty cool. Hype train, level 5. We've hit 100%. Thank you very much for that, guys. I like this. This is good. What's Puppet Master? Okay. Created skeletons take less damage when blocking. Their spells are more powerful if I'm casting a spell. Brand a corpse by striking it with a bound weapon. The brand grants 25% attack damage and 100 when animated or resurrected. Covenant of Cold Harbor. Yeah, I'm... Oh, okay, this is a bound weapon in increase here. I like this. Bound weapon. Mystic binding. Bound weapons summon mystic weapons which deal more damage. Yes, please, because I use Bound Bow. Bound Weapons cast Soul Trap on target. After trapping... Oh, my goodness! Graham, thank you very much for all the subs. That is incredibly kind of you. After trapping 250 souls, all Bound Weapon perks last twice as long. Yes, please. Let's feed the monster. A rend from this world. Bound Weapons banish Daedra. 100 non-damage to non-conjure Daedra. That's insane. We are going with a bound weapon build. This is my plan right now, guys. Bound weapon build all the way. Trap trying to find out what a thousand percent does. 
Do you guys want to know? I've actually, the highest we've ever got a level five hype train is about 1,900%. I've got a screenshot of it somewhere. It's ridiculous. So if I summon my bound weapon, oh, it creates a mystic bow instead of a date. <laughs> I didn't mean to hit Rufus. I legit didn't mean to hit Rufus just then. But he was like, father, an arrow, and just dived in the way. Brilliant. R Rufus, you're such an idiot. Hey, man, how's it going? Are you he's my son, don't worry, he's fine. D don't look at me like that. I'll do it to you, too. That was a warning shot. Okay, let's have another nap. It's our version of catch. That's what it is. It's our version of catch. It's a very aggressive, angry way of playing catch. I am, however, pretty hungry. So, food, nom nom nom. There we go. We'll quick save it. And I think we can go and build another skeleton now. I need you to move, Mr. You know what, I'm just going to uh, jump over here. Pop down here. Run this way. Thank you very much for the Prime sub. That is remarkably kind of you. I've discovered your YouTube and enjoyed the heck. Nice to catch your Twitch stream. I'm glad you enjoyed the stuff. Thank you very much for popping by to say hi. You have a lot to explain to Rufus's teachers when school starts back. You think I care enough to send him to education. What mod is it that makes you put the I'm not playing Lost Ark text? Oh, that's the I'm not playing Lost Ark mod. I just made it. The hunter's shop sells food more dedicated than the tavern. Oh, does it? I'll look into that in a second then. What I want to... ...damage. So let's just... If I cast Bound Sword, is that still a Dromora sword? Yeah, okay. How much damage does this sword do now? That's the question. Apparently only 16. Not as much, but that's okay. Yeah, I mean, beggars can't be choosers. That's fine. I'm not playing Lost Ark. It isn't the base game. I'm not. I am not. What do I think about Asmongold's return? I I think he took as much time as he needed. He's probably going to take more time, and that's fine. The dude can do what's comfy for him. The dude can do what he feel is right. I have nothing but respect for the guy. He wants to take as long a time to get his head in the right space, he can take that time. He doesn't need to, to rush. He knows that people are going to wait for him, but he's, he's not a fool. He knows that YouTube is an uncaring mistress. So is Twitch. You need to be constantly on it, on it, on it, on that grind. The guy's just taking his time. Do people care about Asmongold still? I mean, I do. I value his opinion because the guy is a remarkably intelligent person. I think he's eloquent. I think he puts uh, thoughts in really interesting ways. I enjoy listening to his takes on subjects. And he says stuff that makes me laugh. He says stuff that I agree with. He says stuff that I disagree with. I I believe that he's great at starting a conversation. When is my collab with Pokimane? I mean, I keep as soon as she can be bothered to respond. I mean, no, that, that's, that's not true. It's when I can be bothered to respond. I mean, she's messaging me on the daily. It, it's almost pathetic how much she is trying every day i just wake up every day to more messages josh please come and collaborate with me josh get involved with this josh get involved with that it's too much there's too much okay i just i'm not you got to play a little bit harder to get haven't you you really have reverse simping strategy thanks for the streams you're more than welcome shay thank you very much for the bits that's remarkably kind you know You've got to push back, guys. I'm not bothered about it. I'm not chasing. I'll just... I'll chill. I'll relax. I'm in no rush. Will I collab with Ross's Game Dungeon? I very much enjoy Accursed Farms. I really do. I would... I would happily collab with Accursed Farms. If... This is the important thing. If he wants me. I mean, the dude's pretty much sorted by himself. If he wants... To do something with me, we be fine with that. But the guy's busy. You know, the guy is busy. So we store left arm, left hand, left leg. Store the hip bones. Store all the right stuff. Rib cage. No more skulls, though. So now we search this sack of bones. We take 
one hip bone. Yeah, we take one left arm, left foot, left hand, left leg. Rib cage, just one. Right arm, just one. Right foot, just one. Right hand, right leg, and a skull. Okay, we have everything we need. We save the game. We've got my two skeletons just there. I think I've upgraded to have more. No stars shine upon... that. Look at the graphics of that face. We need to wait for a bit. It needs to be night time to use the bone altar. You cannot bone during the day. It's illegal in Skyrim. How am I still not addicted to Skooma? I've just played well. I've just played very well. Do I ever struggle with laziness? Literally all the time. Everything I do is a trick. Skeleton mage. Alright. Conjuration increased. Awesome. Now do I get to choose what the mage is going to be? Skeleton mage. Hey, can I... Can I change what you are? All fight. Everyone should be fighting. Can I make another mage? Am I... A, how many skeletons am I allowed to have? Let's just see if I can make four. I don't know how many you're allowed. But if I can make four, I'll be happy. Alright, I'm, I'm pretty sure I picked up one of each bone. But what have I not got? What the perk thing probably says it. It doesn't annoyingly. It just says that you can have more. Right arm, right foot. Where's the right hand? That's what I need. Right arm, right hand. There we go. Uh, skeleton mage. Let's see. Okay, body parts removed. Conjuration increased to 65. I should have four now. So one, two, three. No. How many can you have? So, can we do it again? Hang on. I don't know what the limit is. I've got all the bow. Oh, but am I missing the right hand? For every 75 Magicka, you can have one skeleton. But I think you can have more than that, because look. So, uh, bone collector, four bone altar marked. Um, skeletons do not count. Your son. Maximum number of skeletons are increased by one for each 50 base points of Magicka. So, I've got 182 Magicka, so it's increased by three. So, if I can have one skeleton to start with, I can have four in total. You're out of right hands. I'm going to put the stuff back. We'll we'll see if we can do four for the time being. Four seems like a good number of skeletons, to be fair. Four is a decent number of skeletons. Let's put the misc stuff away. What else do we not need? I've got enough gold. I'm doing good for gold. Hip bone. Uh, store, that's the one. Uh, rib cage, right arm, right foot, right hand, right leg, skull. All right, let's, uh, let's quick save the game and pop off. Four is not an army. We talked about this. It's a skeleton. We, I mean, you've got a right hand. I could probably kill you. That's okay. Everyone follow me. So, all fight. Follow me, skeletons. Let's go. We're off to do our royal duty. The duty boys are on the march again. Come on, duty boys. The skelly squad. This is just how you should play Skyrim. This is how Todd Howard wanted it played. I'm trying to run across the water, by the way, because the water is cold. And if you stay in the cold water too long, you actually die. Because I'm playing on the survival mod. So it's it's super intense. You can't do that. The Skeleton Colossus from the base game is pretty cool. We'll get him at some point. The Bonafide 4. Yes. Make them doot with the footsteps in a mod. We could do that. We could work that. Yeah, it's a fire team. That's what it is. It's a tiny fire team. And we're okay with it being a fire team. I need to get across this bridge to not die, because it's cold. And then we can head back to the Major's College. Continue. First time stream viewer here said that RuneScape is the only MMO that needs to exist. RuneScape is a good MMO, but I think variation is good. Variety is the spice of life. Are they fire mages? Yes, they are. Variety is the spice of life. 
things being different is good. A change is as good as a rest, as they say. So RuneScape is excellent right up until they make bad choices. Then you go and play something else. Then you go and play something else. Then something else. Then you come back to RuneScape. You don't need one MMO to be your life. Your hobby can be a variety of different things. You need that cycle. That's what you need. You need to just cycle through it. Okay, I'm warm now. Where's the where's the innkeeper? Oh, this isn't this isn't the inn. Where's the inn? Is it down here? Oh, there you are. Hello, innkeeper. I am tired. So first of all, sell me food. Right, where's the the good cooked bass, fish, fish? Yeah, it's the the hunger restoring food that I really need. I'll take an apple. That's fine. And now I want to rent a room as well. No, oh, no, rent a room. There we go. No, I don't want that. I want to rent a... No, no, I want to rent a room. There we go. Perfect. Just got here. Is there a reason you're not going to play Lost Ark? Too many. It's too painful. It hurts me too much. Perfect. First time seeing you live. Oh, welcome to the stream, man. Hope you're having a good day. All right, you show me to my room. Elder, and I've got one child. Can you get out of my way, please? One bony boy, two bony boys. There's probably some more skeletons up there just doing their skeleton thing, just chilling for a bit. And now we have a lovely nap. Let's just have a quick nap here. Too many people playing? No, I just don't want to play it. Just didn't want to play it. Am I going to bone the bony boys? Only if they're lucky. Only if they... Only if they bring me some Wensleydale cheese. I've said this before. Way to my heart. Bit of Wensleydale. Wensleydale with cranberry. If any of you are going to insomnia, which I would encourage you all to do because I'm going to be there and you need to say hi. If any of you walk up to me with Wensleydale with cranberry, that cheese... You're hanging out with me all day. I'll get you into any room you want. Sorted and done. The Dark Lord Sauron himself. That is that is a tempting offer. What about Wednesday there with Blueberry? Don't even talk to me. Don't even be in the same room as me. Okay, My room included. Definitely. I'll give you a spare key. That's the level that we'll be at once that happens. Ropefort is superior in every way. Sam, I could ban... I've banned people for less. Need a ride? Right, I think we need to go to Winterhold now. I think we do, anyway. Let me just double check. So, return to Tolf Deer. Where's Tolf Deer? He's in Winterhold. All right, let's pop back over to Tolf Deer. To want to hire your carriage, mate. Go. I'm going to Winterhold. Remember, we're only doing this quest line so I can get decent mage stuff. And I think I've pretty much got decent mage stuff with an army of skeleton boys. What's Wensleydale cheese? It's what the moon is made of. What about some American plastic cheese? How dare you. How dare you think that's cheese. That's just yellow. That's what it is. It's just a slice of yellow. Alright, so food. There we go. Nommed down. You feel better but still peckish? I think we should be pretty full by now. I'm going to hand in our quest bit. Come on, army of skeletons, and there they are, my army of skeleton boys, my son and my rats. These skeevers spawn whenever I... Oh, goodness me, that's a bit of a big... God damn, what's happened here? Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but I meant to do something else. Tolf there, man, what's happened, dude? What's going on? This looks bad. This doesn't look great. Yeah, where's Mirabelle, mate? Oh, she's dead. That's a shame. Cool. Right, let's get in there. Let's do it. In we go. Let's run in. Here we go. Take. We can't go in. Use the Staff of Magnus. We're going to use the Staff. There it is. Staff of Magnus. Let's sap away the magic. And in we pop. 
that's not the most epic thing to say, really, is it? After just after destroying a ma magical shield with an ancient staff, just like in we pop. Right, let's mosey. Let's just take a lovely stroll on down. So, let's go with Conjure Flame Atronach and Bound Bow. That's fine to me. Hey, dude. I've always got something good up my sleeve, mate. Don't you worry. Magnus did nothing wrong. It's very true. That's very true. We're off like a herd of turtles. We are, aren't we? We're good with this. Just in we pop. And Bob's your uncle. It's good. Defeat and Carno. Pretty sure we've killed you before. And Carno, why are you... And Kano, I'm just going to shoot you in the face. Spells have no effect. Well, that's fine. You know what? You know what, mate? I'll use the magical staff that I just found. Oh. What about that? I'm draining that. Yeah. Use the staff on the eye. A activate Eye of Magnus. Can I... Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty cool. Alright, guys, come on. Where's my son? Come on, son, get involved. There we go. Let's just drain you of all of your magic. Oh, that's doing a lot of damage to me. Goodness me, I might be about to die. Let's drink some potions and then run away. Oh, let's not be over there. Where is my flame atronach? There we go. Are you good or bad guy? You're a, I think, good guy? Oh, everyone's dead. Tolf, dear, what's happened? My power is supreme. Where are you, mate? You're over there. I see you. Come here, you cheeky little chappy. Oh, do I need to just keep using the item on the eye? Is that what I should be doing? Should I just use the Staff of Magnus on the eye? Activate the eye. I don't know if that's what I'm meant to do. Probably not, seeing as that just blew up. Okay, so I, I don't think I want to die. That's what I don't want to do. But what I do want to do is conjure Flame Atronach right here. There we go. Are you going to play ESO after Skyrim? Yeah, eventually, sure. All right, come on, guys. Everyone get involved. Can we go? Let's get involved. All right, my son. Yes. Tolfdir is just like, boom, fireball to the face. Let's just quick save. It's fine. Let's quick save. As long as the eye, he cannot take damage. Right, so we need to deal with the eye, do we? Oh, goddamn. He attacked me with something. Oh, see what I can do now. Right, he's using the ability. So I've got to use the Staff of Magnus on the eye. Is that doing something? I don't know if that's doing anything to be fair. But I can keep shooting it and see what happens. Oh, okay. We've closed it. See, now we've closed it. Can he be hurt? Yes. Oh, god damn. So can I. Okay. Oof. That was very close. Yeah, we, we've pretty much cleared him up now. This is good. Now I can... Conjure my flame atronach, get my bound bow going on. In we pop. Oh, no, now he's again immune, so it's basically just a case of use the thing on the thing until he can be hurt. That seems to be the basic way that we're running this. Use the staff on the thing until he ends up. Oh, 
Oh my god, did you see much clutch with that? Holy hell. Oof. Okay. That was a little bit close, wasn't it? Right, now we've got that, I can stick on. Yeah, just, just, just double flame it for a second. Oh, that's Colette. Sorry, I attacked the wrong person there, my bad. Yo, why are you not taking much damage, Ancarno? You are, without a doubt, a dangerous man. It just works. Ness, thank you very much for the Prime sub. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Ancarno, you can beat him. I believe in you. What? Don't believe in him. Believe in me. Believe in me. Let's try and... Oh, okay, that's more damage to me than I really wanted to take. Right, your weapon has been fully drained of charges. Okay. Yeah, so, go to things and... I don't think I... Oh, soul gem, petty. Filled with a petty soul. Okay, can I, can I use that? Or do we have to go to weapons and then instead of Magnus, charge? Oh, we have a lot of very grand soul gem there we go let's charge you up with a lesser let's just keep going with the lessers there we go that'll work we'll press f5 to save the game as well because what i want to do is heal myself once i'm healed save the game there so we've quick saved it right and carno bound bow Let's maybe get some potions of Magicka. Let's summon the Bound Bow. Bound Sword will work, to be fair. Quick save the game. God damn you! That was your fault, whoever believed in him. Whoever's like, I believe in you, Ancarno, you can do it! That was your fault. Okay, you know what? Let's not just run up to Ancano and attack him. That's bad. That is not good. Which is bad. That's why you come to this stream. It's for my mastery and grasp of the English language, isn't it? If it's not good, it's bad. There we go. I didn't forget about the eye, it's fine, don't worry, we're good. See? We're sorted. Guys all closed. Right, okay now, now we can kill Magnus wherever he is. Go do some stuff. Maybe use a warding spell. Don't be silly. Cowards use warding spells. You know what, uh, you know what men use? They summon ranged weapons. So they don't need to get close. And then they put those ranged weapons down when they need to use the staff to once again prevent the shield that's shielding him from stuff. Don't let him win. I'm not letting him win. Taking him down very quickly, see? Very quickly, once that's done. It's now just a case of going to magic and getting my bound bow back. Quick save in the game. Oh, he's dead. Well, I'll take out these little bits then. Where's my son in all of this? I really thought he'd be more involved. Well, I just saw someone shout Mammoth Nose. And I know that's something he says, so... I'm going to assume that was my son. Beautiful! They're all taken down. We've all won. Oh, are we getting a soul? What's that? Where is Ancano? Where is his body? Give me his leg and his skull. Alright, we've got his leg and his skull. He's off somewhere being useless. Don't forget to loot. We looted him. We've got a leg and a skull. It was good. Poor Ancano, I'll miss him. No, you won't. Don't pretend that you will miss him. Hey, Tolf, dear. I knew you could do it. Uh, what, what now? I, I don't, I have no idea you have no idea what to do, do you, Tolf, here? Okay, we'll speak to Quarineer. Quarineer, no, yo, Quarineer, mate, you know what's going on. You look very important and impressive. What do we do? 
must be secured. Right, apparently it's dangerous. You have our gratitude, Archmage. Oh! Archmage! I've just been referred to as the Archmage. You guys hear that? He said, thanks, Archmage. I feel that I may have just leveled up. You have an actual son in game. Hey, yeah, Archmage's quarters as well. Well, thank you very much, you absolute babe. That was the entire point of doing this whole thing. Look at that, see? All spells cost 15% last, increases magicka, and magicka regenerates faster. That was all I wanted. The whole thing, literally everything we've done, has been for this. Am I wearing the correct face thing? I'm not. There. Wait, what? C can you... Is it... D does that... Why do I have to choose between the Morakai face mask and the Archmage's robes. Right. The Archmage's robes count as a hood, but I can wear the Tribunal mask, but I can't wear the Morakai bit. Right, so... I see. I guess we're playing like this then. Alright, well, the dragon mask is pointless then. Alright, cool. Archmage's quarters. How do... There they are. There they are. Mask is on the face. Monokai includes full headwear. Oh, I see. Gotcha. So, this is our new home. We have got a bed that we can sleep in at any time. We've got an enchantment table. We can steal some soul gems. It's not even stealing now. It's just... This is ours. It's not even stealing. We own this. Okay. Staff of the Frost Atronach. Yeah, we'll sell you. This is beautiful. You can sell all this stuff. I like this quite a lot. First thing you want to do when you become an Archmage is go... Archmage's boots... What are they all about? Okay, hang on. Apparel. Archmage's boots increase shock resistance by 40%. And I'm currently wearing steel boots of waning shock. Shock by 30%. I'll take the Archmage's boots. Are there, are there Archmage's gloves as well? Do we have Archmage's gloves? Fur collar loose. Alright, is that... Uh, Will that clash with something? No! We just get to have a fur collar on as well. Cool, okay. Fur collar. Where's the gloves? We've got the boots. Oh, even more Archmage's robes. You get spares. Gloves, so I want now. I don't even know if we have Archmage's gloves. Oh, unusual gem. Oh, God, no. It's the Stones of Baron Zaya quest, isn't it? We've officially started. Read. Scourge of the Grey Quarter. Nah, I'm good. Hawker attacks. Alduin is real. Nah, he's not. Don't lie. Where is Rufus's room? He doesn't have one. Brigand Dwemer Breastplate. Amethyst. Gold. Tribunal Mass Gold. Again, we've got one of you. College Boots. Like, legitimately, can you actually get the Archmage's gloves? Are they in here? I may need to Google this and find out, because... It would make sense if you've got Archmage's boots to have Archmage's gloves, wouldn't you? The spare robes might not have a hood part. Interesting. Okay, so we can have a look. Archmage's robes, let's have a check. And I'm sure... I'm sure they would do. Oh, hang on. Magicka regenerates faster. What's that one? Increase Magicka by 50 points. Different. 
So 15% last, 50 points. Can I? Oh, you beauty. Okay. So you are correct. Those robes, they have a hood, but they don't count as a hood. All right. That means we've now got active effects of... Yeah. Regenerate magic are faster. Regenerate magic are faster. Resist, resist. And the mage stone. All magic skills improve faster. We are a badass mage right now. This is good. I'm going to put my other mage robe in here. I'm going to hang these up. Let's store those just there. Cultist robe as well. Let's store some stuff that I don't need. Let's just, just stick all this in here. We don't need it, do we? Beautiful. We are, I mean, how fast is this going to go down now? If we cast flames... Okay, so Magicka drains pretty slowly now. And then when we do that... Oh, it regenerates quite fast. People are saying I equipped the worst one. Yes, I had to equip the worst one because the other one counted as a mask as well. I needed to equip the worst robes so I can have the dragon mask on at the same time. This is lovely. All right, this is really good. This is super. Right, I guess we've finished the mage quest line, haven't we? We've finished the mage quest line, which means we can actually return to... Oh, I don't need that, do we? Forbidden Legend. Long ago, the Archmage Galdor was murdered. Nope, don't need that. Was it the Horn of Jürgen Windcaller? That was it, wasn't it? I forgot what I was doing for a second there. It's the Horn of Jürgen Windcaller. After demonstrating my ability to learn words of power, I need to go and retrieve the Horn of Jürgen Windcaller in his tomb in Ustengrav. I've... Oh, right, the horn was replaced with a note asking me to meet them at the Sleeping Giant Inn in Riverwood. So Riverwood's there. I'm all the way over here. And if you remember correctly, Winterhold does not have a cart. So we have to run all the way back, which means we're either running to Dawnstar or we're running to Windhelm. And I think Dawnstar is the closest. But that, ladies and gents, will be on the next episode. That will be... What day is it today? It's Wednesday, isn't it? No fast travel. We're doing the whole thing. That will be on Saturday. So, thank you very much for joining me for today. Allow me to explain what's going to happen. The second channel, Josh Strife Plays, where I review old games, I am editing the video for that now. The next game to be reviewed is Rayman on the PlayStation 1. I finished the game. It is brutal. It's hard as nails, but I did finish it, and I am editing the video. It'll be about 45 to 50 minutes long. On the regular main MMO channel, there will be an episode of Worst MMO Ever on Saturday as usual, and on Monday, we will be another episode of Tangent Tavern with Callum, potentially with a couple of guests on. That is a YouTube channel, Josh Strife Hayes, Josh Strife Plays, Josh Strife Says. And if you want to catch up on these streams and you've missed any, new YouTube channel, Josh Strife Replays. You can watch every episode from the Skyrim stream up to where we are now, in case you've missed any. Thank you very much for joining me. It's been lovely. I've really enjoyed the stream. I will see you gorgeous people on Saturday. And if any of you are coming down to Insomnia, let me know on Discord. It'd be great to hang out with you. Thank you for your time. Take care. Good night. And God bless.